Yes, yes. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you for showing up tonight. Uh, we're coming out uh, uh, to have a little chat with Mike D and Silver X himself. Please share our video. If you can hear me, say please uh, put your hands up or just press like and see uh, if you can hear me properly. I'm here with uh, two of these guys, the Shang Sa Sunnis artists. And uh, they dropped a new song called Ya Binaya. Uh, we're going to talk a little chat tonight. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy this chat. And please share our video again. And uh, I will replay the song again and then bring those back. It's uh, a new video. If you want to get it, please, you can drop into YouTube. You can find it on YouTube. So let me play it for you again. Google you, Google you. Until we find you, I give him silver accent. First time I saw your face, I knew you were the woman meant for me. I believe I am not so fine. With your beauty, you look so nice. Your love makes me grow so even now. I believe I am not so fine. You look so sexy I want to marry you Girl, I wanna take you home and make you my baby Don't even say no because 
I wanna make you my lady. Girl like you had to be found. My love for you flow like a water on river nine. Girl you are so nice and kind. It's a big, it's a meal. I've been feeling it's a wheel. The butter gill, the heap of seed. My love for you is not for money, baby. Your love is so crazy. Hello everybody, uh, let's come up guys, uh, Mike D, already, already. What's happening, what's happening guys? Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, how is everybody watching here? Australia, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Kembra, Sydney, my people, Melbourne, Perth, Adelaide, how you guys doing? And everybody watching us live, this is your boss over Extra, and I'm straight up from Kampala, Uganda. Yes, sir. Straight up. Right away, right away from Kampala. What's up, what's up, Mike D? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. What's up, Barack? Big up to everybody. One love, thank God we're here today. It's a great day. Thank you, Barack, for the opportunity. My boy, Silver X, sir. What's good, my G? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, thank you guys for showing up uh, today. With me, Silver X himself and Mike D. Uh, first of all, guys, just to welcome you, uh, let me give, like, give both of you a round of applause uh, for getting out, you know, say, a very beautiful body of work or a very beautiful you know clips you guys did a very fantastic job and it's really amazing job uh to see both of you you know collapse and just getting something we call it quality mm -hmm. thanks thank for that thank you blessings so guys uh uh just for me to start let me start off you know i just uh we're coming out tonight, you know, to have a bit of chat 
uh, first of all, thank you, uh, uh, Silver X for showing up, and thank you, Mike D, for showing up today. Uh, you guys uh, did your best, and I hope we're just going to have a little chat uh, today, and we see how we're going. So, how's Uganda, my brother? Uh, Uganda's dog is amazing. It's cool, like the weather is amazing. It's about 20 something. Uh, yeah, and as I speak right now, actually, today is my day, actually. Like I said before, I didn't know the inter was going to be at, at 12 this time because I told a good. I mean, African time and maybe like 2 a.m. in, in Australia. <laughs> so I came to the studio yeah. right now as we speak. I'm at the studio, but like on the backstage, not really inside. So everything is all right. Yeah, ready to work, and it's a pleasure, though. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You, you, you know, I, I, I don't know the time. Uh, I don't know. I, I put you a time around 12, but I don't know about Kampala time. You know, it's just a bit, I don't know, you know, so it, it was a bit of confusion, but it's okay. Uh, so yeah, how, right. how, how, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, how are you doing in Kampala, man? How is the Kampala going with you so far? Uh, doing, doing good, man. I've been here, like I've been living here for, for about now, let me say, uh, since 16, yeah, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, almost five years right now in here, like, so, it's like small home, yeah? It's like my second home right now. Yeah, okay. but, like, I think it's the longest time I've stayed for almost eight months without going back home because of the lockdown. And as we speak right now, the lockdown is still on. So, yeah, we're still here, like, but it's amazing. It's like second home, yeah, I work from here, I do my things from here, my family is here. Yeah, it's amazing. It's great, it's great, yeah. Magdi, what's up? Yep, I think mine, man, Barack, I'm good, I'm happy, I'm alive. Big up to everybody, everything is going well. I uh, can't complain, man, I can't complain. You know much about Australia, how things are going here. So I can't complain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's great. Anyway, yeah, just for me to start off, you know, I'm going I'm gonna to be juggling between both of you. But yeah. the first question I want to start off with, how did you guys meet? That's the first things I want to know. <laughs> How did we guys meet? I think, uh, you know, like we say, like, you know, the world is a very small place. Uh, how we met was a very, you know, we met in a very fantastic and amazing way. Let me say, uh, I I was coming from a concert from down country, like, you know, I was, in, I was in Lira for a show, and then I was driving, coming back to Kampala from Lira. It's about, about 100 or 200 kilometers away from Kampala. So on the way, I received a phone call from from Ozzy, from Australia, because the only person who calls me from there most of the time is my wife. So this time around was a different number. So when I picked, it was like, it was my and then, hi, bro, how are you doing? My name is Mike D and all this and that stuff. So we, but, we started but, talking but, and then, you know. Before you know, I cut you, I yeah, I, I don't want to cut you, but from the first instinct, Mike D called you and then you pick up straight away or is just been calling you and he didn't get no, in no, touch no, with no, you? No, no, mm. no, no, no. Okay, the number, like, like I said, uh, uh, it's only my wife who calls me from Australia. So when that number came plus plus six one, I thought maybe it was how I was calling or some stuff. You get. And uh, when I picked, I had to park the car on the side of the road. And like we spoke, hey, bro, this and that. And then we spoke. He knows me. And then like the approach was okay. From there, like we just connected and we started talking. And then by the time I reached Kampala, our communication got on. We got to know each other more and better. And yeah. Before we started working, we first started to know each other like a little bit more better and then like we connected. Then from there another idea of working together came in, you know, because that's exactly how music works out. You know, we first started to, you know, to get together and then stuff and like that. So I don't know how Mike would say the story, but that's for me that was how like we first connected. We've never met before, but that was the first time. Then from there and down, you know, we start communication now was day after day, every single day we could communicate on phone calls, on Facebook, on WhatsApp. And like yeah. So that okay. Was... Yeah. Maggie. Yeah. Uh, to add on to what Silver said, yeah, it's true. I was the first person to reach out. You know me, myself, my music has been a journey. Uh, back in the days, I used to watch Silver Egg performing in the big shows in Juba. Silver Egg is a big dog. Is a one of the legends that work hard in South Sudan for the music to reach a certain level. And when Silver Egg was doing good already, I was uh, underground, still upcoming until now. I can say that. 
But now we can't. You 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 on the radar now, man. Now you on the radar. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yes, it's yes. A bit, it's a little bit. It's a little bit a longer story. 2011, I went to Juba. Silver Egg was performing in Women Away, in uh, Women Away Hotel in Juba. I was there as one of an audience and a fan to Silver X, and it was my dream to work with Silver X. And finally, this year, God made it happen. It was a long story. I was the first person to reach out to Silver X, and when I called Silver X, Silver X picked up my phone, and we had a good conversation. And from there, we built it. From there, it was not just a one phone call pop. It was a one phone call pop, and then Silver pick it up, and we have a chat. The other day, I call him, we talk. Until he came back to Uganda, at that time he was on his music tour. So for him to come back, he texted me, he said, I'm back. And then we have a chat and I tell him that, man, it'd be my dream to work with you. And finally now I want it to happen. I feel like it's in time, you know. And he said, yeah, we can work, you know. Silva is a very humble artist. He's a, he's a big guy in his music level. He has worked with so many Ugandan artists, he's African artists. But he don't have those ego of acting big, you know. That's why I can say that I made it to work with Silver X and Mike D is still upcoming until now. But shout out to Silver X, man. I appreciate the love, man. <laughs> it's good. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, actually, it's, it's actually amazing collapse between both of you. Silver X, uh, let me come to you, Silver X. I just yeah. want to walk you back. Yeah, I want to walk you back. You know, I'm going to talk about the song later, right, in the middle of the interview. Okay. But I just want to walk you back. This yeah. is your first time to show up in our show, Silver X, and... I've been watching your music for a very long time, man. I've seen you, how you're growing up. I just want you to walk me back. You know, Silver X, he's a South Sudanese, a young boy who grew up in Torit. Before you get into music, how the life like when you were growing up, really, for you to catch up on the music? Well, I, I, I mean, that's sort of like, you know, that's one of the questions that doesn't really miss from every single interview uh, uh, I normally, you know, get to do. But mentally, like you said, okay, I uh, was born in Torit, long time back, you know, I was born in Torit. I grew in Torit up to the age of eight, and then my mom took us to some place called Ikotos. That was 1999. Then 2000, my uncle brought me to, to a refugee camp in Uganda, that's in Ajumani district. So that was now when I started my 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 primary okay like i said my primary like i did like uh four years instead of seven years p1 p2 99 uh p3 2000 p4 p5 2001 p6 p7 2002 then i continued go scholarship went for my senior senior secondary school one to four i finished in 2006 it's still in already come here like under the scholarship government scholarship and then uh, I was still the best in the district, so I had to go to Tori for my holidays. When the results came out, I was the best in the district, so I was supposed to come for for, for my senior five and six. That's A level in uh, in in Lira. So that became a problem. You know, we all don't come from the same family backgrounds. Yeah, somehow some people are blessed, others are not blessed. So I'm among the few who are not blessed with you know. So I didn't have the money to come back to continue with my education. So that was 2000. And and seven, life became very a bit difficult for me, and then I had to look up and down and be like, okay, now that I have a chance to go to school, but I can't afford transport to travel from Tori to Lira to continue with my school, you know, it was a dark day for me, a dark moment. Like people were celebrating my my results, but I was I was crying, you know, for the fact that I'm not going to be able to go to school no matter how well I performed. So I sat down, I was like, okay. I'm not going to let myself, you know, rot into it here because I don't have someone to pay me in school. I look down and be like, God, is this the end of me? Or there is something else I can do apart from, you know, school. And then I realized way back in school, all my life, I lived my life in church, in, uh, you know, like in church choir, in school, I was the, like, I was just like, music was in me. But then it was not something I opened my eyes on to understand. Like, my focus was to become a doctor, a pilot, an engineer. You know, that's something I know I was blessed with. But then somewhere, factors of life, you know, pulled me out of it. So I realized, okay, how about I try music? Maybe if I record one song, I'm going to be rich like uh, the artist, like a million, like, you know, these other artists. Because I used to think that way. 
If you record one song, you're going to become automatically rich. That was my, I was like, okay, let me record a song. And then I get the money, I go back to school. Arena was making an own goal though. So again, the money to record was not there. I decided to form a group. It was called New Sudan Superstars in 2007 in Torit, a group of seven people. So we started doing trainings in our house, yeah, in my brother's house. We started doing trainings. Already I had a lot of written songs, so many books, until I think I even have them in Torit. So I wrote a proposal to SPLM Secretariat to sponsor my album. So they sponsored the album, they gave me 3,000 pounds that time. That was a lot of money, it was about a thousand dollars that time. So I picked two of the boys plus me three, we traveled from Tori to, to Gulu, Northern Uganda, to record that first album, you know? We did the album, so when we went back, my dream was like, okay, like when we Tori, people are going to receive us like, you know, like angels, and then there was going to be money flowing in. So I collect the money and I go back to school. That was my dream. So reaching there, Everything backfired, you understand? The public did not receive us well. People started, you know, criticizing us, like particularly me, because my lifestyle was different and I, was, I could play my hair, I could do some, you know, wear those baggy things. But I wasn't a criminal never in my life until now. But the public took me wrong, you understand? So my family even had to abandon me, so I had to leave home, I had to live a life of my own, you understand? Because nobody accepted. People thought I was smoking weed, I was drinking, I was, you know, I, all the bad things you can mention, you know? So Yeah, yeah. You, you yeah, know our culture, you know, yeah, where we come from. Culture. The way you dress, straight away, they put yeah, you in a bad, bad category. So, yep. Majorly, when <laughs> that happened, I still kept on. We did one show to it, and then the second one was in Nauru. So when it came back, I was like, okay, I think cutting the whole team of seven people is going to be hard for me because the rest, I don't know what their dream was. So I could not mix my dream with other people. I could not get into their minds to understand whether they're willing to fight like I am. So I, by 2008, I decided to to go solo. Remember when we were in the group, I was not called Silver X, I was called DMX. Yep. You understand? That was yep. the name yep. of your yep. school, yeah. So yeah. yeah. So now, in 2008, when I was going solo, I traveled from Tori to, 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 to again to, send, like, to Uganda, like to do my first album. As I was in the bus, I was thinking to myself, okay, what name am I going to use? Because the name DMX is a name for a big actor in the US, an artist called DMX. So how am I going to use that name? So I came when I reached Gulu, there was a friend of mine, and then uh, we were with him in the bus, coming from Gulu to Lira now to where the studio is. And then he was like, I asked him, I was like, cool, Clarion, I'm not going to use the name DMX, but then which name are we going to use? And then it was like, which name, did, like in school, like your, you know, funny names, what's your real name? I was like, my real name is Simon. Then I was like, okay, why don't you like this, this silver? And then we add the S onto it. I was like, yeah, fine. So we did the album from there. And then I went back to tell you the album. The album was the blow. It was a big one, really big one. It sold the name Silver X out, a huge one, but most of it was in Lotuko, in my mother tongue. Yeah, and then yeah, like, yeah. yeah, after that, I got some gigs, you know, I, I kept getting gigs like from the companies, do this and do that. So I saved some few money, like some small money. 2008 to nine, I came back to Uganda to do a diploma in, in IT. Uh, somehow, somewhere again, things didn't work out because I had to be the one to work and I had to be the one and to do the, the, you yeah, yeah, yeah. So when yes. the money gets finished from here, I get to suffer so very badly. So I have to go back to Tori to go and hustle, then again come back. So it was difficult. I could not catch up with the whole studies thing. So I had to leave the thing in the middle. I didn't finish my diploma in IT. So now yeah. I went back to it in 2009. I decided to record this album for Fetish Shogo. You understand? So now that was the album that blew me out nationwide and internationally. The song for Anali Vudunia, Mama Fetish Shogo, Madam, like in Bikele Mugali, come tomorrow. So that was the album that blew me out. Yeah, six songs and all of them were platinum hits. You understand? But the show was yes, yes, yes. weekend. Yeah. So from there, when that album blew out in 2010, I was like, okay, I think this is where God has blessed me. Let me just focus on this. Because now, each time I try to go to school, I can't do it. You know, I wish I could divide myself into two. I leave one to hustle in, in, in Juba and maybe one to be in school, but that was not possible. So yeah, time. Time, 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 time. Yeah, time is tough, you know, as what you said your story. Before I come, you know, to Mike D himself. Uh, I just want to ask, uh, you, you you rename your name, you mentioned your name because I was going to ask about how did you get this silver X, you know. As you explained it already, 
you know your name but where this x came from you know i thought it was s but this x no it is s X actually yeah. x uh that was like it's, you know is a is a it's my own creation you know and x is a unique factor in every human being you know despite of the fact uh the the the, the, the worst kind of life i've gone through or the you know the, the zero background i've come from that was that one thing unique about me so i believe that x represents the uniqueness in me and i believe every human being has an x factor in them like right now Baraj, what you can do i cannot do what my dick can do I cannot do and what I can do you cannot do there is something in every human that no another human being can do so that is the x factor in every human so that is me you understand there's something in me that nobody has that is the x it's, it's true we 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 all born unique like what you said you know yes. uh, it's, 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 it's amazing the way you explain it because X is a very powerful letter. A lot of people don't understand what is the letter X most of the time because if you see, yeah. you know, a lot of people, ah, oh, that's my X, that's my X, you know. X is represent <laughs> really a very powerful. A lot of things. <laughs> very, of things yeah, yeah, yeah. A very powerful position, you know. All right, just to come back, Mike D, let me get in here to you, you know. Uh, can you tell me, look, You guys have amazing collaboration. I will come to that collaboration and and we're going to talk a little bit about South Sudanese or South Sudan music how really can we make something out of it. But Mike D is your first time here in talk with Barachan. I think it's been quite a while, you know. We need to make it, but thanks God we made it today. Uh can you tell me can I, how, how did you start your music Mike D, you know? You in Australia, uh you know how things goes here. How the first things how did you start your music? Did your uncle thing or this your talent or how, how did you come up with it? Can you my Yes. Yes. I unmute him. Yep. Yep, it's fine now. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, somebody distracted by calling yeah. there. Um Barack, thank you for the question. You know, like we we all have the same similar kind of life stories because we came from one community, one country, and we're the same people, the same uh, society. So the only difference is that everybody have his own story from where you begin your journey and where you are now. For me, for those who don't know me, my name is Mike D. I'm um, I'm a Sudanese artist born in Upper Nile. The state Jongulay State. That's where I came from. I was born in a village called Panyangut. That was my second album name. So uh, with my music, I don't have much journey to say, it, but it's something that hit me. Like I feel like I need to put something out. There's something in me. So me to say that is something in my DNA. Is a kind of my family background or my uncle used to sing. Is usual to everybody. Everybody is a singer. Everybody is a singer. It's just a matter of wow. time going to steal and make your song, you know? So wow, yeah. for me, I do feel like I have a passion and I have something in me that I need to put out and to show wall who was my D. And um, and I think I'm uh, I'm on it. Uh, if somebody cannot take it wrong, it's just a, just a matter of time. I start my music in Nakuru. That was in Kenya in 2007. And the reason I get into music, it was this kind of uh, life whereby we are misquoted in our community. We are judged by the way we dress and the way we do our things. So we were in a group. Uh, I usually always link up with different people. So I'm a guy who would like to build a uh, relationship with a different kind of uh, people and a different uh, type of tribe. Either Kenyan, Ugandan, and everywhere. That's who my D is. And when I met one of my friends uh, called Adisha, the guy took me to the journey by not knowing that I'm on already the journey. So Dadisha, some one of my nephew told him that I'm a good artist, according to him. And Dadisha, Dadisha looked for me and said, we need to do something. And I need to prove it. People are saying that you're talented. So for that, for that shot, Dadisha took me for lunch. And our lunch was really very enjoyable. It was Ungali Dengu, that's back in Kenya. <laughs> so that's called Ungali Maragwe. So there, when we were in that hotel, where like, you know, in Africa, there's these small places, they eat Chapati Madonda and all that. So we ended up making a song there and that song became a hit song. 
that drove me to the music. On one day, and I think everybody that know Mike D know me from that song first. That was a song called So Tired to Be a Refugee. I'm so tired to be a refugee. So that was the first song, that audio I made. And when I made it in the hotel, the guy tell me, you need to write it down because you will forget it. And this is a beautiful story. I said, I will never forget it. It's something coming from my brain. So I don't need to write it down. I have a good memory. And when we record the song, the song became hit. And uh, it was not proper done. It was audio was not done properly. And we, we didn't understand music because music is not, it's not just all about going to the studio and record. That's not all about it. We came and learned more. There's something in music that we need to learn. And I think one of them, I learned it from Silver X. Silver X is one of the vocalists in South Sudan. I need to appreciate that. Silver X is a vocalist. So in music, there's rhyme and harmony and some so on and so on. And for me to identify that there's something that in music that I don't know, I went through the journey and through journey I've been pushing, which is I was not doing it full time. I was doing it just part time. Sometimes we were doing it for show off or for girls or for different reason. And at the end of the day, I came and find it. You know what? I've started something that I don't want to leave it hanging. I want to complete it. If somebody if somebody start missing now and quit, I will already made a record that people will say that. Uh, Mike D tried it and quit. You will quit like Mike D. And I don't like to be a bad, I don't like to be one of the bad examples to be put there like, oh, you will quit like Mike D. So I decided to push the music and it was really very hard to record the songs. So what I did is that I used my pocket money for the school to record my audio. And if I go to school, I don't have any shopping. I don't have any pocket money. I mean, I'm making audios with, uh, with my pocket money. And um, through that, I, I keep pushing. I, we did another audio call um, uh, 16 May for us to be invited for South Sudanese event, like 16 May celebration and all that. We did that. Through that, we keep surviving. We get supported. And then I made another hit call, uh, Soldier for Real. Uh, the reason I call them hit is the feedback that I get from the people, people appreciating it and say, oh, this is the song that I know you from. And they make you feel even like, you have done something. And to me, it was not something that I look at like I've done something good. So my music journey is not different from the other artists, but where I'm gonna end up will be actually different from the other artists because I dream big and I believe I'm doing big. And that's what I'm here for, to cut it short. Yeah, is look, yeah, it's, 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 it's great story. Let me, let, let me come, you know. Your journey, it seemed to me like you you, you have a short journey and you think you're coming up. Hello. But let me, uh, yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry, yes, I'm on yes. live. Elvis, I think he went to bed. Call him, please. Yes, can you hear yeah, me? I think he went to bed or he went outside. Sorry, my brother. Yeah, I'm making here. I'm making mine. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear me, Mike? Yeah, hello? I think he cannot hear you. Hello? Hello? Only, only, only Mike, yeah, I don't know. Are you cannot hear? What's happening with you? Maybe you try to unmute it, uh, his wearer. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Mike, can you hear us? <laughs> I think, I think, I think <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're here. Can you hear us? <laughs> All 
right, I'll, I'll, I'll just drop him. He will come back again. I don't see if, if, if it's going to be clear. I'll drop you. Okay. Yes, he will come back anyway. Uh, but ju just just let me let me come let me come to you, uh, Silver X. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, through your music journey, uh, you've been you you you've been you've been around for quite a while, you know. Can I just tell me what 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 does music mean to you for 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 real? Music means everything to me, bro. As in, like, uh, you know, something like, like I said before, like, if you really took my story, like, uh, if you if you follow my story very well from the start, it just, it will, you know, it defines itself as in, like, music means everything to me because it got me out from the dark corners of my life to the brighter days of my life, you understand? So, majorly, it's everything that I do with passion, I do it with love, I do it with every single commitment. And, yeah, I love to do it because whatever comes out of me, my people love this. The world loves it and the world supports it. You understand? So I've been a great factor for the new gener for the old generation, the current generation, and I believe I'm also going to be like the big factor for the you know the next generation. So it's something I love to do because it like it gets me inspired personally and it inspires a lot of youth outside back in my country. Like and yeah, it's it's it means everything to me though. Like it's what I do for a living. Yeah, it's great, you know, because... Uh, hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah, hello? Where's your picture, man? Yeah. Did somebody call you? Yeah, hello? Can you unmute yourself, Mike? Yep. Mike, I cannot hear you. He's, he, he. He unmuted himself. Can you unmute yourself? Yeah, you know, on the little mic, little there, just, yep, you, now, you're right Hello. now. Yes, yeah. yes, that's perfect, man. Welcome back. <laughs> hey, drop again. <laughs> anyway, let me, let, let me continue with you until he come back, you know. Yeah, maybe um, we can, we can, we can, yeah, maybe yeah, 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 so, you know, maybe we can finish and can continue with Mike later. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's 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 all right. Yeah. Uh, what I'm coming in here. Can, do you, do do you have a record like you you, you under, or, or or do you have your own record like you signed to a different records so? Actually, right now, like uh, this one, I want, like to show you, like as in right now, I'm in the studio, and this is my studio. It's called International Records. Uh, if you guys can see mm. this, uh, see? Yes, this yes, record International Records. Record. International Records. Music to the world. We do audios and videos. So that's exactly where I am right now, like I said before. And uh, right about inside here is the studio. Yeah, this is me and my producer, Zamba. Yeah, actually, this is a producer who did the song, the audio me and Mike D. It's called Zamba. Oh, wow. What's Zamba, up? what's up, man? Zamba. How you doing? Good, 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 Papa. What's up? Yeah, good, good. How you doing? All the way from Australia, man. We're doing yeah. just, you know, some chat How with you your... Man. Yeah, we're good, we're good. good yeah, we're good. How you doing? You did. You oh, actually okay. did a great job, man. Thank you, thank you. Did, did you know that guy, Mike? Mike? So, yeah, Major League, that is exactly what... You... <laughs> you back? <laughs> yeah, that's fine, man, that's fine. Sorry, yeah. guys, I'm going through a lot of tears. <laughs> That, 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 that's all right. Yeah. Silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this. Yeah. Guy. Cool cats. I'm doing an interval. Come back right now, bit. Okay. Yeah. He just he he, he just dropped off. Yeah. We, we. I I I was on the way to ask you, like you know, 
uh, you think your your journey in the music is kind of you define it as a short journey, but to me, the way you do your art, you know, the way I see your things you do, can you tell me like you you do really high profile art or very very good quality art even the way you put things out? What does art mean to you, as Mike D? You know. You know, in short, Barack, thank you for the question, but I would like to say the music itself is an art. Before you put it outside there, it's an art. Even you in your studio, the way you do your thing, before you put them out, you have to tell them it's an art. You have to design it before you put them out. And music itself is an art. For you to put it outside there to be accepted, there's a lot of people work behind it for it to be great to go there. So for me, I'm not saying I'm the only greatest artist in South Sudan do quality or do a proper work. There's a lot of them outside there, but the only difference is timing and the passion in me. You know, I cannot be Silvayek and Silvayek cannot be me. To me, I would like to say Silvayek, I've already succeeded his journey, his dream. Silvayek, I've already, all the things that we're trying to do, Silvayek, I've already done them already, like in 2012. But the only difference that what we're coming with now is the fuel. Back then, Silvayek was a one army, like it's fighting, but if you look back, you can't see anybody coming. But now we came with the pull pose, even you feel like we're on the same lane, but it's a, a little bit ahead of us because his record are not record. Even the people I'm looking forward now to work with, are people Silvac I've already worked with, you know? So for me to say uh, music is an art, everybody is doing good. It's like a passion, is like dressing. We can go to the shopping center and do shopping, buy everything, but we will never look the same. You will dress differently and I will dress differently. And you have money and I have money. So it depends with the passion you have. The same like Silvac. Silvac was a award winner of a passion of the passion of the year. Stylish yes. artist from South Sudan, and if he came oh, to the God. level of money, there's M. McDon here, there's Sunny Man here, there's Governor, there's Young Low, there's Mike D, and they in Australia they're working. But Silver Egg is surviving through his music. How did he make it to win the Stylish Artist of the Year? If the money uh, can help, even though if you have money and you don't have a brain, you will never do anything. So that's what I can say about the art. Yes, it's all about passion. Yeah, th th this yep. question will go will go to both of you. You know, uh, mm. uh, let me say this: we have a new country, South Sudan, and the music, everything is new to us. Uh, we've been influenced by music coming from East Africa. We have music coming from the north side, say Ethiopia or Sudan. You know, if you see our music instrument. Is a kind of that type of music, and there's a new music coming out, like you know, like Nigerian music. Uh, what do you think, guys, about South Sudanese music? Can we one day get to a level where we can create our own? For example, like Zaire music. You know what I mean? Can we get to the level? Because if if you see South Sudan is divided, I know to to ethnic group. And every ethnic group, they have their, say, instrument. If you go to Equatoria, you know, you find that little drum. How do you call it, Silva? You know, the one you do, you know? Yeah. So, uh, and, uh, how, how do you call it? I think we have Lugara and we have a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you go to Upper Nile, it's a different instrument. What do you think, guys, one day we're really going to make our own? We will, or just we will continue by just an influential outside the country? You know, like, I just want to be like a little bit specific on, uh, on this question, particularly. Yep. One thing for sure, uh, I cannot say we cannot, and I cannot say we can. But one thing, first and foremost, when we started up this music, let me say, I have been in this game for more than a decade and plus. Let me say the best three producers right now in the country. We have Linus, it's a Ugandan. We have Jehu, it's a Ugandan. Uh, we have uh, probably all the producers we have, the major producers are Ugandans. That was the one like we started with. 
You know, the first police to come in Juba was a Congolese scholar there. Used to work in Kibre. Hey, drop off. Um, yeah, can you continue? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we will catch up. Yeah. Yeah, for me, what I would like to add on that, I will. I was waiting for Silvex to to put something there because Silvex know a lot more than me. He have more experience. I can say that. But to me, as I can see, as my D, you know, you cannot change the system without you having the gears for you to change the system. I don't know if you understand. There is a type of I music. Do, like I do, if, yeah. you, if you're talking now about the music that dominate, we have a we you have American music, which is hip hop and R and B, and then Jamaican. They have dancehall and they have raga and everything. East Africa, we have bongo flavor, we have zouk, and then we have a genge music. Kenya, they have genge, and Uganda, they have zouk. Tanzania, they have bongo flavor. And if you combine these together, bongo flavor is bigger than all of them. Why? Because they look at the strategies of the market and their target. Music is a style. You can put a good message outside there, but if you don't know how to pass it out, it will never reach where you want it to be, you know? So what I'm saying in this, for us to have our own style of music, we need to have our own producers. Are you there, Barat? Yes, yes, I'm there, yep. Mm. We, need to, yeah, we need to have our own producers. And we need to look at the fan base that we got for us to pass something outside there. Like me, my D, me, myself, last year I came out and I said I want to pass a music called uh, Chong Music, you know? That's a, that's a Dinka mixed with a universal music saying Chong Music. Chong Music can relate to the other cultures, said let's dance music, you know? Let's dance yes. music. But it, it, and in, in, and if I define my my tone of where I'm coming from, I can say dergel tone to the world, you know, you know, because my voice, my vocals, dergel is sorry, a culture. Sorry, man, my dad had gone yeah. over and I had to fix another. One. You know, like yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yes, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, Silver, you can finish your point, and then I will add on to that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I continue yep. from where I stopped, yeah? So yeah, 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 continue. Yep. Yeah, so like majorly you get like uh, this kind of factors. Actually, we try to change these things, like we try to change. Another thing is we have we have a very diverse country, you understand? We have so many, like 64 tribes with different you know, cultural instruments, you get. But they are very few are very influential. That is why our country is divided into, we have traditional artists, and we have political artists, and then we have the modern artists. I am the genius of the modern artists. I introduced the music like to the, to, the, to the country, but we have political artists like the Kembe's and those other ones, the Burunkos and whatever. Then we have those traditional ones, you know, that do music exactly for, for particular community and stuff like that. So now, for us to come together and create a genre of music for South Sudan, it's it's like it's going to be it's going to be. It's going to demand us to have these people together to get, you know, specific people who are, who actually, who have the, the, the whatever, the, the, who are learned, you know, with this, how to use instruments, the local instruments, like into modern, you know, modern system, like right now people are using logic, you know, from FL now, people are using logic, and like it's going up. So, majorly, and the music right now is not basically like uh, the Nigerians have come to wipe up the whole industry, like, they clean up the whole industry. Like we saw the Kenyan music, they are dominant. music, but now Genga music, if you do it like it doesn't even like play internationally, you understand? So like the yeah. Afro yeah. has united the whole of African, the whole of African continent. This Afro, uh, Afro music, yeah? The Nigerians have made it like, so right now there's a musical trend that if you don't sing onto that Afro beat, you're not going to catch up very fast, yeah? With the music, with the music trend. And music changes every single year, like every decade, the new generation comes in with a new vibe. So that's why you find artists, like a lot of artists who stand together with, are not right now standing like I'm standing because they became a little bit rigid with the changes of the music flow, you understand? So majorly, it's going to be very possible for us to create this, but we need to have our own Sassadanese to be the one to create it. You know, you're not going to tell me- Yeah, exactly, you're going to tell exactly. You're going to tell a Kenyan or an American to come and create for us our own music genre for Sassadan. That's not going to be possible. 
because no that, one understands your culture like you do. Exactly, so, exactly. It that, might happen, but it's going to take some time. I don't know what case that might be, but that's what I feel. Yeah, yeah. Be, be, before we discuss this topic a million times, so many times. Yeah, about yeah. This topic, but, but we do not like you know reach the real point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you actually is is a great point. Before my D jump in, uh, just why I was saying that is just is a kind of because we are in a modern time, and it's all about influence. Like what you said now, the Nigerian music is taking over. Uh, uh, Nigerian movies taking over Africa, but the situation is about survival. We have a new country. We actually don't have our own thing. But what I was asking, there is an opportunity for some talented because it's not about creativity and talenting you know you see american music it dominated for for centuries and it's still dominating now you know what i'm saying and but there is any chance for creativity really for that sort of thing to <laughs> to be around yeah like them say like uh, when it comes to creativity let me say even right now if you talk about the Nigala music do you know right now we have a uh, uh, pali pupa Bali Pupa changed the whole of Congo music into modern Afro. And for the reason, Congolese don't actually like Bali Pupa in Congo because they say they spoil their original music, you know? The real African music and Congolese music. So Bali Pupa changed the music, the Congo music, into modern Afro music, which the people didn't like because it lost the culture somehow. You get somehow The flavor, Jamaica, yeah. Somehow Jamaicans are complaining the dancehall has been changed, like dancehall and reggae. This new, this new artist called what? Uh, the winner for, for the Grammys. This girl who was the Grammy last year, Kofi. I, Kofi came yeah. and she changed the, the, the kind of the dance music or the reggae music for Jamaica. She changed it like a fuse with some American kind of, you know, with some pop music into it. And it's, the whole thing is changing. So right now it's about, it's not about us creating a cult like a, 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 a music, yeah, whole thing. music of our own. It's about us trying to, okay, fixing, let me say, our languages. Because one thing people say, uh, if you sing in Arabic, you cannot be international. You have to sing in English. That's a big lie. So for me, I can still be a South Sudanese, but I can still sing on the Afro beats. It's an African genre. It's not for Nigerians alone. It's not for, you know, in Afro beat is not for only Nigerians. Actually, it's created out from the Congo music and a few of African instruments combined together. So the fact exactly. that African, we can demonstrate it's, that. But then I'm yeah. going to be me as a South Sudanese. Like every single song I'll drop out, one or two verses will be in Arabic. Just like Diamond does. He sings in Kiswahili, but they're still international. You get Kenya sing yes. in Kiswahili, they're still international. Nigeria sing in their own language, they're still going international. Sakoti does in Ghana Look, language, wait. it's still going international. So why not Mike D, why not still like sing in Arabic and go international? It is just our people's mindset. You know, our people are too rigid to change. But we shall keep pushing that one thing for sure. And, yeah. uh, and we have we, we have a problem here, or oh, I don't know, say the, what I've seen in the music industry, say South Sudanese. The artist is a manager, the artist is a producer, the artist is a promoter, and the artist is everything. How do that culture change? Because I know support is very hard. You you survive in trying to come up. At the same time, if you have a manager, you have a director, you have a whoever want to make music, you want to survive too. You know what I mean? Let me just let me just so, like, uh, uh, bro, let me just cut on or sort of like very big on yeah. that. Yeah. I, for one, like, you know, it's very important to have this, all the things you've mentioned, very important to have a manager and all these things. But one thing with us in our country, it's not the, it's not the case. You get, first of all, you're going to get a manager, you need to pay the manager. You need to, whatever, those, you want to hire them by yourself. And then, even, which we don't have the money to do that. Like, let me say up to 100% of us do not do, like, we don't have the money to do that. Except the few artists who sing these songs of begging and stuff, you know, begging politicians and particular names to give them money. We don't, I don't call those as artists, but I'm talking about artists like the real artists like some of us here. Try creativity. Yep. Get paid. So we don't have that enough money to pay a manager or whatever stuff and all this. Secondly, we don't even have people who are so committed, who understand the music, to be able to manage an artist. Like you understand, but there were a few of them. So, like me, I've had a manager, like a couple of managers here and there, but that doesn't mean I cannot do alone. So sometimes, if you have a manager who doesn't understand, you, like, who doesn't understand, like, your vision. Like me, I love to work with someone who understands my vision, someone who understands, like, where I see myself far, than just a manager who's going to come to buy for you drinks and move you around, but doesn't even, you know. Like, tell me how many artists have moved out of South Sudan, out of Juba, like, outside with managers. 
All these managers do is take you out, buy for your drinks, and that is it. Take you to studio, record you one audio, that is it. If you want to do for a video, a video of a hundred dollar, that can only play within you, but it remains there. But, so you know, like it's, it's a bit. But how how how, how do you think? But how do you think this can change? Somebody who can invest. How do you think this can change? Because this is about development. I think creating music or developing a music for a whole country, it needs a collaboration. But do you think how this is going to change? Even if you have a part-time manager or a part-time promoter, how, how is it going to happen? What do you think? You know, right now, like, uh, yeah. turn the music, it's not really about even the artist. It's not about the artist. It's not about the manager. The manager, let me say, for us to change the music. It's about the people. One thing, you know, one thing. One, we need to get the country into a very peaceful place to live in. Where there is peace, that music exists. Where there's no peace, music does not exist. So we shall keep talking about music here and there, how we can change, how we can change. My brother, we've tried to change it. We changed it actually. But again, to change again to another level, we need the country to get back. Like during those days of ours, I could put a concert, Silver X, like Mike was saying, I could put a concert in home and away in Nyakron, and I'd fill the, con I'd, I'd fill the venue without any foreign artists. But right now, if I put a concert, I believe, okay, Sassanians will come because they love me. I'm not an artist for this, you know, this tribe or that tribe. I'm one artist like who's universal. Every tribe in Sassanian loves me. That's one thing sure I'm grateful about. But other artists outside there cannot put a concert and have the whole, the whole Sassanian coming. You understand? So we need a country to be like in peace. Like now, Music and peace, they work together. Oh, side divided, by side. It's difficult. Yeah. You know, even some people were saying, how did even Mike D get Silver X? Or how did Silver X get to work with Mike D? You know, other people yeah, from Mike were like, Mike D, why do you go to Nyam Nyam and stuff? You know, these things, <laughs> we need to get our mindset together and start working as a nation. So we met with Mike D, but people try to make it like as a big deal. You see that? Because <laughs> they think like we're here and there. But so majorly, we just need to have the country. Once there is peace, Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Yeah, definitely. I think that's the yeah, major definitely. problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike, come in. What do you want to add on that? Especially the first question. How could we really uh, bring our own type of music out? Um, to add to what Silver said, everything that Silver said, you know, some of them few point there, they, I really agree with them. Uh, and to really create the, the agenda of the music, like the type of music we need to have. Yeah. Can you adjust uh, the camera it, a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, like the, the type yes. of music, the type of music that yeah. we need to have in South Sudan. It's very hard for us to create a music where we don't have a cookers to cook it. You know, music is like food. We need to have a cookers to cook it. We artists, we are there to put flavor and creativity into it. But the main important person in the music is the producer, you know? Producers are the one who create sounds. We artists, we already made a difference. You know, if you listen to Silver X and listening to Kiss Brown or Whiskey, you can find a difference there and you can say this is us then, you know? You can identify the boy, the vocals. But the sound of the beats, you cannot find it because we adapted the Western or uh, the, 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 the system which is there, like a pro music took over, according to my point of view, they took over because they have a numbers. The game is Very about the numbers. Yeah. It's for the market. The yep. about, yeah, the game is about the numbers. So today, if you support Silver X, if we all unite behind Silver X, uh, America can accept South Sudan music and even do collab with it because they see this type of music have numbers in it. So about the it's music all about market. Are, yep. So about the music to those who are listening there, it's not about the talents or how many good songs you have. It's about where you see yourself going and how many people are supporting that thing that you are engineering, you know? So for, for, for me to say, it, we already have a type of music. Like before I can tell you that, like, for me, I'm working for what y'all are called uh, Chong music. Chong music is less dance music. It's like a uh, alabu. You know, it's like alabu, and that thing. If you go to every certain tribe and ask them, dancing is a sign of peace. Dancing is a sign of happiness. Dancing is unity. So, if people can dance and call a style less dance a style, what is important about the style is not the name. Is how many people who are supporting that. It's like now if you go to Lutuko and see them dancing their traditional dance, they dance to the fullest, nobody will get tired. 
and the style they will do in their traditional dancing will make the show really very interesting to you. And you would like to watch it all night and day. The same if you go to Mundari, you come to Dinka and you come to do that and do that and do that. They're all similar. It's all about culture. You would like to see Jay-Z dancing in, in Dergel, for example. If you play a Dergel beat, they will really enjoy it because this is something unique. But for us to reach there, we need producers and we need artists with a dream, big dream, and doing big. It's not all about dream. You can dream all year and wake up and nothing happen, you know? It's all about being a doer than being a dreamer. If you sacrifice about uh, about uh, about about uh, uh, about uh, about the, the the management, if I come to the management, management is not a big deal. The reason I say management is not a big deal in South Sudan because we don't have people who believe in music. We have a people whereby, like, if you even bring people, they're coming even to compete with artists. They don't even give artists a space <laughs> to act celebrity. You know? <laughs> DJ, yeah, yeah, DJ yeah. want to be bigger than artists. He's playing your song and he want to be bigger than you. He's beefing with you. He's fighting with you. He want to control you instead of you controlling them. You see that? So where are we going to have a system like we have a management? Management, the meaning of, I don't know, Silva is saying something. Yes, yes. Just like, just like to add on what Mike is saying yes, yes. about the management thing. You know what Mike said is exactly, it's something very, very true. We've gone through that, we've learned to live with it. You see, I see managers outside, like managers in Uganda, a manager respects an artist because that is the source of the income, that is the business, that's the face of, that's the brand. But yes. it's that is the opposite. The manager wants to be more famous than the artist. The manager wants to be recognized more than the artist. The promoter wants to be the one holding the flag, but not the artist. You understand? So somebody's trying to put money in you, but he wants to be the face of you. You understand? So it's, it's difficult, even to an extent, some promoters, you know, let me say, South Sudan actually is a bit un, unlucky, let me say, because the people who have the passion to do the thing, the work of management, are not given, are not blessed with the money. But the ones who want fame have the money, and now they're using the money, like if they know my is very smart, they will never put their money on you. They'll come to Silver X because Silver is very dull, so they'll be using you, you keep remaining down, but they keep stepping on you, and they say they are managing you. You understand? Me, I don't really care. I said the truth, and that is it. That's what happens exactly. People have money, but they want to use their money to buy fame. I told them one time, you're going to use your money to buy fame. But if you die, your fame is not going to last for even a day. You understand? That's one yes. thing. We become yeah, yeah. famous to earn a living. But you have a living, now you want to become famous. You understand the opposite? Yes, I grew yes. up from scratch. Plus, it's all about legacy. I can make the money. Mike D from nowhere, he wants to be famous so he can make the money. But this mother, of, uh, sorry, these guys have the money, <laughs> but now they want to use the money to be famous. That is the opposite completely. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, it, 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 that, that goes to our pride in culture and those sort of things because uh, what I think is all about development and creativity, you know, when I see South Sudan music now, the way it's heading, regardless of all this big competition and high competition, we still need to do our own and survive in that environment, you know, but we need somebody, one person will come and change this, you know, eventually, as yeah, long as sure. you guys, you know, as long as you guys keep inspiring people or inspiring young generation coming up like they want to listen to your music and those sort of things uh, hello Barak. yes yeah hello yeah, yeah, yep. yeah i'm back now, yeah. Up, yeah? so Barak and, uh, and my brother mike i think i'm gonna have to excuse myself man <laughs> My time is yeah. getting really, really up. I have yep, yeah, that's fine. I have to catch a meeting out here. Mike didn't know about it. And yep. uh, yeah, we actually, just to say something about the song, about the, the Yabinia song. Yeah. I'd like to say it like, you know, real quick. Mike, mm. I'd like I was to say go, I, I was going to come next on that one, but it's okay anyway. If you have something, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. like to say like, uh, bro, thank you so much. You know, but I guess yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to bigger interview. When I'm in a more comfortable position, you understand? Because then I have to yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I have some business to run. I have a recording to cut and I have this. So I'm really very sorry. 
But I would like to say yeah, it's very understandable. Yeah. It was mm. a beautiful kind of start. We're going to have a more of this. To my brother Mike D, thank you a lot. I would like to say you made this song possible, brother, because you're humble, because you're focused, because your aim is simply music and there was no attachment to it. You know, we did everything from the day we connected until now. We've become more than friends. We've become brothers. And this project is still going. Is a, I think it's the biggest project we've done this year, 2020. And so we're sitting like on top of, you know, every single video we've done, I mean, being done right now. So majorly let's hope for more coming out. And as we talk right now, I'm having a bit to catch up <laughs> with these guys. So friends yeah, that's fine. Africa, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. about the same video. So hopefully the video is still moving out. You're going to see it on Trace. You're going to see it on MTV. Yeah, it's a big thing. Thank you, brother. You made this possible. I hope there could be more artists like you who understand music and why exactly it's supposed to be artists, you know? And to my right, I love you. To everybody else who's watching us, I'm sorry to be leaving early like this because I have a lot of things to catch up. To my wife and my uh, my children, I love you, Suzanne, wherever you are, if you're watching us. I love you, HLME, and everybody watching us right now, Australia. Thank you. By the way, I went to Australia in 2015 for my tour, and I was blessed with the wife. I'm blessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for showing up, and thank you, you make it possible as well. Thank you, but just for showing up here, and definitely we're gonna have more of this in a in a time where we can really talk a lot about things because you're a very talented guy. Thank you. Blessings, blessings. Yeah, thanks. Um. Thank you, Silvex. Hmm. All right, uh, Silvex, move out now. Uh, just. Uh, for us to continue, what I want to do, because we're going to talk about the song next, I want to play yeah. the song again, and then after that, we will come into it. Okay. It's all good? Mm. All good, my G. Tell <laughs> we go Google you, Google you, Google until we find you. I give you silver excellent. First time I saw your face. I would have. You, you are the woman meant for me. Ebony, <laughs> you look so fine. With the beauty, you look so nice. Ebony, you look so fine. With the big bum, you look so sexy. Say I know we need a day. So we'll 
That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. My G, you know, <laughs> people love it. Yeah, very. They love this song, you know. There's a lot of common here. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Today we had, a few minutes ago, the song is on fire, you know. Yeah, the legend is taking. I start falling for silver music since my childhood, and I haven't given up. Uh, big up, big up, John. John is all good. And this is how we do this, how we inspire ourselves as a young South Mike D, what ya binaya mean to you? That's very romantic song, let me say that. Let you know that ya binaya. Ya binaya is that girl, you know, Barack, if you go to Lord, for example, and then you see somebody there. <laughs> and then from from Lord, that person disappear, you know? And maybe in Lord, you were about to, you want to holler her and say, hi, how are you? Where is your number? Where do you live? And all that, you know? But Yabinia disappeared from Lord, you know, right? Mm. So if Yabinia disappeared from Lord, along with Dagobella, you, uh, maybe you guys made up somewhere in church or in a shopping center. The one thing that will come in your head, they will be like, Girl, we go Google you, Google you, Google her until we find you. So you've been Googling her until you find her. So what will you wow. tell her? So the story will lead up there. You have been here, you look so fine, you know. And then the story catch up. And then if you have a words which is like punchline, there's a book. They say that uh, they stand word for, for men to please a woman which is another way other people say it in the wrong way that they stand word for a man to fool a woman, you know, which is others can say it's, it's fooling, but is to convene a woman. So Yabinia, that was a, a straight line. Like we're getting to the point, you know, when I'm, I'm, I was a guy who was still Googling. With that, with that, yeah, like, fine. With that you, you're going to get straight to the point with that little white lie. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been Googling her, <laughs> Google, until, Google until I find her. So instead yeah. of me, instead of me to go alone, I I was with my friend Silver X. So even every time, like everywhere, like in a party, Lord or everywhere, you always with a friend. So that's yeah, where we come to yeah. Silver X. And Silver mm. X was trying to back me up, and then and then that's where we get Yabinia. Yeah, you look so fine. So that's this. Yeah, definitely, it's, it's, it's actually he's it's, it's a good hit and 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 very like great music and and very fine you know it's very romantic i think a lot of people especially with this crisis time especially here in australia is the right time for those sort of music really to uh, listen to let me come back here let's talk a little bit about your say your production uh my d uh can I tell me what is what is a ray quell how do you come up with that name Arwekwell is a name which is AKP Productions. And yes. uh, Arwekwell itself, then being a name, you know, Barack, there is something that our people like to always chip on it, like in the state of seeing what is under that, they just say it's a tree, is a car, is a house. But behind that, there is something, and that, that thing that you are asking for. Arwekwell is an umbrella that we design to unite and to create a star shooting a star that a star will shoot to the east or to the west it's not identified yet but the star is shooting you know whatever benny star louis land where, wherever they where the, wherever the star will land in then that's that's where you will say it well 
and AKP, like they, they, they are Arwaikwal, but now that's the umbrella. That's what I can tell people. Arwaikwal is the Dinka name. Which yes, is yes, like, yes, yeah, because, yeah, it's very powerful, Arwaik meaningful, Arwaikwal, yeah. Yeah, explain it, yeah. So there's always a star. There can be million stars in the sky, but there will be that one star to score them. And that, that star will stand out more bright and it will get attention of everybody when it's shooting, you know? So nobody can deny that a shooting star cannot be seen when it shoot, you know? If you, if you, if, if, if you go outside now and it happened, a miracle, like a shooting star passed by, you will see it and you will say, that's a shooting star. But shooting star don't always shoot like any time of the night. Around three to four, that's when they pass. So I know the time of the shooting stars. And if you wait for those hours watching the sky for one week, you will saw a shooting star. So Arwaikwal is a shooting star and we don't know yet who's the shooting star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that mean, that mean Arwaikwal doesn't make a star, but it should star. Arwaikwal, Mary Star is a brother, is a father of the stars. He's always around the okay. stars. You will never see you will never see a Raquel without without the stars, you know? But he's always the brighter one. Yeah. And he's always yes. that catch attention of everybody. And he shoots once. And you will see it as a shooting star. So there can be million stars and there will be a shooting stars. Shooting the stars can shoot today, and that's what a Rayquel is. So, is a Rayquel is the umbrella, is the AKP, a record level that I'm signed under. That's the full detail of that. Okay, and yeah. and, and, and and what do you call? It? Yeah, it's, it's a record level you sign under. So, is is a kind of a worldwide record label, right? Mm, for me to talk much about it, a Rayquel, we have Mike D in it, we have Birkis in it. We have a Lejuma in it. A Raquel is for everybody. Even you, you can be a Raquel. At the behind of your studio there, there is a star <laughs> on your mic, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you are a star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, so definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely, yeah. definitely, brother. That's that, that's it's, so, it's, it's amazing, kid. Yeah. So Arwaikwal is, is for everybody, and the reason we come up with Arwaikwal, Arwaikwal is the only is the only platform that can get us to where we need to be. You know, me being called Mike D from a community where people have egos, I will never get anywhere because in our community there is a lot of stuff that you know and they cannot be denied. In our community, my own audience now they are majority of them they 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 from where where I'm from you know and that's not you cannot call them like a fan base that's the family and for us to reach whereby sorry whereby you call yourself an artist we need to come with a platform that call a requel and a requel is for everybody and I can say like within a requel there will be different in South Sudan music within it's just a matter of two years and either our people like it or not, they will support us automatically. Okay. Are you yeah. Me uh, yeah, 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 so, yeah. I'm getting you definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm just with the with the vibe. Yep, definitely. That's why you see me. I'm just paying attention that much. Yeah, yeah, so, definitely. Mm. So, so if you come to music, like if you go to the record of the South Sudan music back in the day, there were so many people who came out big and then they go and they disappear. Others never made it others make it and there was a lot of messed up which is like for example back in the days we used to have like getting getting a chindam you know is a star rest in peace to him he he, he made he opened the doors adun chindam was the first artist to to get into east africa which was in 2003 which is in kakuma we used to even play getting like in a party we dance using his songs adun chindam and uh, he, 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 getting malora and all that there were three of them, and then they made it. And when Adun Chindam went to South Sudan, things changed, you know? And that's where I can, I, 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 I can say, like, there was a messed up because Gerangadun Chindam grown in Kenya, and he made his music, and it was well 
uh, understood in Kenya and they receive him and they kindly, they try to support him. But when he went back home, thing turned out to be different, which is like, I feel bad, we lose him. Yeah, yeah. He's no mm. longer alive. But if he was there, he will appreciate the movement because the movement now is a, is a little bit new and is a little bit fresh because the, the, the kind of the vibe we're on it now, let me say this with no shame and with no fear, and anybody that who is watching us, this is not a show of game, but the move of the music now, we're trying to brand it to make it expensive. What make it expensive? You know, the quality of the videos that we did, like I did one with Ali Juma called AT and Do. Yeah, and, uh, can do yep, yep, yeah. Yeah, and I did another one with Silver. I will Cody play that one soon, yep. Mm. So if, if you look at those videos, they cost a lot of money. And if you look at the South Sudanese artists, how many people can sacrifice ten thousand US dollar on one video, just a video, without an audio and without the ticket money? It's only a few of them. And it's not because that they're not rich, you know? They're rich, but they don't believe in their dreams. You can dream and do it's not about it's, it's not about the money no. now. It's about the money later. Okay, now mm. when it comes to the when, when when it comes to the game for you to to reach to where you need to gain, you need to brand yourself. And to brand yourself, you need to be different. You need to believe in yourself. You need to know your target. You know, need to know where you're going, your final destination. You need to know why you're doing this. And you need to invest in yourself. That's when it came to a vision. You know, that's, you may not see so far, like if you see your vision, because this is what happened, you know, a, a, a lot of people, in our culture, you know, KHI, let me mix because it's only two of us. We will mix around yep. anyway. Yeah. Yep. Uh, in our culture, you know, an artist, when you see them, they portray them like they are different kind of people like, ah, you know, that's why a lot of our musicians, don't, they don't take it. They don't take it as serious. They take it as a something after that they fall back because like what you explained before is you, you explained before is a lot of work on it. You know, you have to work like really hard and to, 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 to achieve your vision, regardless of what you're doing right now, you know? So, but how, how, how do you think our people can support your music while you guys really do your music and just put it out for free? Yeah, that's a good question, you know, but millions of people have been asking that question night and day in all interviews I watch, they ask that. But to support mm. Boris is the one thing. Support don't only need money to support. You know, for you to share my video on your YouTube or on share the link on Facebook or on Instagram, that's a big support than the money, you yeah, know? Yes, 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 yes. For me, Mike D, there's so many artists here in Australia. There's Emek Don, there's Sunnyman, there's Governor, there's Dika, there's, uh, uh, there's Young Law, there's Kid Classic, there's uh, Sai B, there's, there's uh, Black Diamond, there's uh, Caesar, there's um, Ali Tundo, there's Z Dow Dow. There's many of them who are really good artists. And I think among them, I am the newcomer in Australia among them. They've been here yes. for, for like for decades, you know? And the reason I say that, I think I am the only South Sudanese which have gotten less support through the shows that I've tried to do. Brand, there's noise. Hello? Yeah, hello, right. it's fine now. Yep, yeah, it's fine yeah, now. Yeah, it's, it's good now. It's yeah, 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 continue. Now, yeah. Yep. So to mm. take you to take to take you a little bit long, I did some couple of shows here in Australia. I did a launching of my album, which is like cost me a lot of money, and it was free of charge. And I can say the way I did it, it was an example to those who need to see it and learn. So for me, I can say. I'm not the best of the best, but I'm a teacher, I can teach some. And I don't teach by saying, I teach by examples. When I did that launching of the album, it cost me a lot of money. A lot of people from Brisbane here know it. And it was free of charge. And when they bought the album, album didn't turn out to be the best because there was Chang, there was Pidu, there were a good album there. And there were Ting Road and so on, you know? But for me, I never miss out among the best. If there's 10 artists yes. in Australia and they need top 10, I'm always number 10. 
I guarantee that. And if <laughs> you say number, number two, five, <laughs> you're always number 10. No, no, no. no. You're on the top 10. I'm huh? always number 10. <laughs> yeah, in top 10, I'm always number 10. <laughs> and if they make <laughs> it, if they push it to top five, I can bet, I can say that it will work hard to be number five. I have that confidence of saying that, number five, but I cannot be number one. I can be number five, you know? The, yeah, reason, but... the, reason, the reason I tell you all these things that people need to know about what is behind the music, music is a very expensive career to do, to be honest with you. It's very expensive. But our people misuse it and mistook it when, they, when music comes to the level like it's an easy way of being successful. You can record your five songs, hide a whole tomorrow. You want to say something? Yeah, 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 yeah. And and and, and is 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 about like actually getting famous and and and, and just yeah, yeah do easy and, and things. Then, yeah, and then go to the hall and make ten thousand dollars and that's it, you know. But for people like us who spend a lot, I've never that's made passion. ten thousand. I've never make any ten thousand in my show, my brother. Let me tell you, <laughs> the only amount I made was the, it was even less than seven thousand, and I spent five thousand to organize that show, and I've never yeah, gave up. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, and and yeah. without even no fear, I can say now, at the movement, as I'm talking to you from this date and from this month, I am the only South Sudanese artist who have a quality video directed by one of the best director from east africa the guy who shot my video is the guy who worked for diamond platinum worked for Ammonite. yes he was on the studio so, with uh with silver x before but just when you drop off and then again they drop off yeah that's that was yeah. that's that's that was the producer who, who ah, that was the producer, who, who, producer okay the yeah, but yeah the yeah. director of the Did video, move the video? Guy. okay yeah. Yeah. so the, the reason i say that i'm is not that i'm sure Showing up, Emek have a lot of money more than me. Sorry about what have happened to Emek. Uh, Young Lo have a lot of money more than me. Sunny Man have a lot of money more than me. All of them, they have money. But their goals of what they need to do, they have done them. Emek have a lot of videos on YouTube. Sunny have a lot of videos. Young Lo have a lot of videos. But for me, it's not all about videos. It's about it's creativity about the, and put that it's about the, talent it's about out the, there. Yeah. It's about the art. My dream was to be, my dream was to be on YouTube, and I made it last year. That was my dream. See, in 2007, I want to be on YouTube, and finally, 2019, I made it. I was on YouTube. I have a YouTube account. But my dream now, we want to break through to use East Africa and live longer. So many artists are break through, like my brother Silberg, a break through to East Africa. But in East Africa, if you break through by yourself. You will never be it's very hard, yeah. Yeah, it's very hard, yeah. They, they can just see you and say, oh, you're doing good. And tomorrow they forget about you. So what we need to do, we need to come as team. Team of five, six, seven. And then if we target East Africa, three will be accepted. But 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 but, but let me let, let me ask you this question, sorry to cut you off, you know. In in, in regard to what you've said, like, you know. Uh, you need to be creative to put out the creativity there. It's all about art, you know. Yep. What What do you think? Do, don't you think our people here, because most of the people, especially we in the West, you know, we have access to the studio, we have access to those facilities. Everybody want to be a singer. Is that the point? Everybody want to be a singer. Everybody because there's to access to equipment. That's yeah, it. They're... But it's not about the passion. But the equipment, even they get access to, they're not useful. Chan Bajon Lake in my brother Brad. Those uh, equipment that our people are using now, uh, nobody need them. That's the truth. We have a lot of cameras here, all people holding cameras, and they yeah. study. But the cameras they are holding, they're not needed anymore. I don't know if you understand the point of... No, no, I do, I do, I, I do get your point. Uh, yeah, I got, exactly, I got your point, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. our people, everything about us is a startup shop. Everybody buy his own camera and say that I can shoot your video. But it's not just a video being shot by someone to show your, your image on the screen, you say it is a video, you know? I've tried that, yes. I shot my four videos, which is that was seeing my image on the screen, but I was not certified. <laughs> Yes. Until yes. I do a move. 
I cannot repeat mistake, 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 mistake. mistake Do the same thing and you're expecting a different yeah. result. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Mistake have to be corrected. You have to reach to another flight from another level. And as I'm telling you now, a lot and of that's cost money. Special, especially this year, they work hard and they do a lot of good videos, especially like Marco Boy, especially like uh, Becky John. Big yes, up to yes, them. yes. Yeah. But there is something that needs to go wrong for me to say it. The good work that we're trying to put through, they try now, not them, but the way I've seen it, like the thing will roll later, even in next two weeks or two months, the competition will roll into hatred, you know, which is not good for us. But, if but how, roll... how, how, how many of you there <laughs> for the competition to, to hold, I mean, to turn to With hatred? So many. Eh? We so many. Really? I don't yeah. see so many. Come on, Mike D. Oh. To that level, like the standard you see, like musician, this musician, for example, today, if if, if you can see outside, yeah, say this guy, yeah, he's a musician. I, uh, last week, I saw my brother, Many Men from South Sudan, from Kuzoklan. Yes, yes, yes. The one he's actually, he's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Many Men mm. went to Tanzania. I saw it on his post, he posed, and he said it's in Tanzania. Something new is coming. And when I see that, you know now, many men went to where, like, things need to be done. And when he released the video, I will finally give him a call and say, you were sleeping, but now you wake up. You know? And for, I, I feel like I did a wake-up call for them because when I put Yabinia, some of artists said, oh, this is luck. Maybe he was lucky to do that one. When I put how, Yabinia... How when like I with that work, it doesn't work out. Uh. When I put Yabinia out, they say, whoa. Some started accusing me of saying I went to Limonari. And, Come on, man. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 Do you know and, how much and, it costs to get there? Eh? <laughs> and, 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 and some start, some start to say, it, oh, it's focusing on music and they don't want to, to get marriage and all that, you know? Look, you, you, you're an artist for sure. Uh, yeah, a lot of things can go through you uh, uh, and doing your own things. But let me come back to this. You know, you've done a lot of work. That's why I say sometimes, like, your creativity, it caught my attention, you know. Especially, like, you have you have a very good vision of art. That's why it's not only about things, like what you said before, you know. Sitting back and looking at your work, first of all, it doesn't matter how much do you have. If you don't have that vision and talent... You wouldn't do what you have done. This is just something different. But how do you think you can encourage that in creativity to bring it into our people and instead of become a competitive things, people trying to compete each other, but at the same time, they go outside and instead of looking for people, because I do believe, you know, we can do those sort of quality things if we look into us here and try to do things and to, to, to really figure out who are passionate to do this. How, how, how do we can bring this, like, for example, you did a very good quality music and then you mentioned one of the artists now, he went to Tanzania, he want to bring something, you know, a high caliber. But if you coming back again, we're still taking our money outside. What do you think? You know, for me, I can say it is a good thing because, uh, you know, positive competition, wake up those who like to sleep and those who are sleeping they have done their part and maybe they are sleeping for a reason even maybe i'm one of them sleeping you know but for me i can say this competition is good to keep on going like that me i used to say like i'm not in a competition but i can take it under condition because i know how to survive but i can I know, I know how to survive in a positive competition, <laughs> not negative one. And that positive competition, it can make us even reach to a level that we need to be like. In social network, we can compete with doing good work. But on phone calls, we can check each other. Oh, congrats, you do that. Even me, I compete with a lot of people. And if I lose, I congrats them. Say good work and all that. But for me, I know I'm not number one but I'm not out of the lease. I'm always in the lease. So about we taking money out yeah, and go and do some good thing instead of doing them in, there's nothing inside my brother. 
we we like to eat but we don't like to walk <laughs> that song uh. <laughs> yeah no, no nobody nobody like to walk even today for example Look, if i say it's it's, it's sorry to cut you off my my, my idea you will continue Yeah. You say you say we don't like to work. You know how hard it is the way you do your things. Can you tell me how do you balance your normal obligation and working on the music at the same time and getting me those quality out there for the fan? How do you do it? I and you know it's a work. lot of work. I go to work on weekdays, Saturday, half of it. I give it to my family. Like the half of the world. Saturday and Sunday, I put it for music. I do my music for one day and a half. That mean that that mean you don't even hang out. Are I you do still hang good out. Young, yeah, hey. <laughs> I do <laughs> hang out. I can spend like four hours away, and then spend like six hours on my music. For me to go to bed, I go to bed at 4 a.m. That's what I do, and. And now where I am, this is my bedroom, and this is the studio. I have not shown you the studio. Can I do that? <laughs> so my Why music not? is yeah. cooked here. Yeah, yeah. My 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 music is cooked here. This is the studio. Yes. You see, Brad, yeah, and that's yeah, my yeah. bed. Yes. So I cook thing here, and then when I feel sleepy, I jump to the bed. <laughs> So I, I like all this art in the in the world, you know, all this art you put in the world. That's something amazing. Yep, continue. Yeah, that, that that's a lot. Even uh, the, the the bull horn over there, that was yep. the bull given to me in Melbourne. There's one of the ladies in Melbourne buy me that bull. Like I instead of bringing the bull inside, I cut off the horn and put them here, and the bull the bull disappear. So we put big bull on the barbecue. So I put them there as a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> so for me for me as my D every artist is great but my message to all my brothers and sisters who are doing music you need to know where you are going you need to know what you need to uh, need to need to create and leave there as a legacy my dream is not to be rich but my dream I'm working on it and even though I leave it hanging somebody will complete it and I will be in history. It's short. Look, Mike D, you are a leader. You have a vision. You know where you're going. It's not everybody knows that. You can have a passion person, but you need somebody to drive them. How do you think you can encourage those who have vision with you just to pull them with you, taking them to your way, and then they can, like what you said before, you know, in uh, a requel, So how do you think you can encourage? Because we, we, we are in a difficult, really, we, we are in a difficult position as a South Sudanese. Our own people sometimes don't like our music. Our own people sometimes, like what you said before, the support is not about money. It's about sharing your stuff. Some people, they don't even share your stuff, you know? So tell me, how do you encourage who the talented one who don't have a vision, you can drive them with you together? You know, not all of them. To those who are in AKP, I can talk about to those who are in AKP because uh, in that... This is how you start, for sure. AKP, yeah. that's how you start your vision. Whoever want to yeah. join later definitely will be on the board. Yep, go ahead. I can, I, I can tell you in AKP, uh, Ali Juma was a self-made artist without AKP. But now, as we are in the same bus, in two years, Ali Juma will benefit in his music than spending 20 years not getting anything. And Ali Juma is one of the vocalists who will last longer than Mike D. But I have to tell you one thing. I'm not that <laughs> putting myself low. But there is, there, you have to accept where like things need to be. I'm, I'm talented. I'm, I have creativity. But if we go with vocalists, I will not catch anything when it comes to Ali Juma. You know, that's the truth. Ali Juma is a vocalist. But they, they need that balance up there. Your balance, that But creativity, for, they need it. Yeah. For us to go together, you can be talented and don't know where you are going, you know? So through that, Ali Juma and Birkise, in next two years, you will be like, 
wow, I can explain. I don't need to tell you much, but the dream of where we're going is already clear. What I will ask from my audience to support my D, keep sharing my music. Keep sharing my music. If you know a story of Diamond Platinum, then keep sharing yes. my music. To put you in shortly about who Diamond Platinum is. If you go on YouTube and search his first song, you will never accept that was the Diamond Platinum. Yes. Of YouTube I've, I've, today. I've, yeah, yeah. I watch his videos. Yeah. But but when <laughs> yeah. but when but when one of the people saw him on social media, that the guy became who is is a uh, is uh, manager number three now. Diamond have three managers. He have Babutale, he have Salam SK, and he have Mukuba Fela. These are three managers for Diamond Platinum. Salam SK traveled from America, come to Tanzania to invest $500,000 in Diamond Platinum. If you are so Sudanese, you will think of buying a house. <laughs> Gosh, not waste your time on these musicians who are making noise. <laughs> <laughs> but but, so, but, 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 but so, today, if I, uh, today, <laughs> I continue. And, and in two years, Diamond Platinum make it to BET. And from BET, it was awarded $1 million. As as it's been, he didn't win any award. He was nominated for that platform. They give him that money. He buy a house with four hundred. And he feed his managers. And they and he feed the whole team. And today, I was, as I'm talking to you, Diamond Platinum have a radio station, TV station, and um, and and everything. And, 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 and everything. He have hotels. He have buses. It's about even to buy a flight. You know. A plane. So all right. So this is a I'm question saying, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, continue. Yep. What I'm saying in that is that we need to believe in ourselves. Don't be greedy. Facebook is not your home. It's just a name. You own it by name. Support South Sudanese artists, not me. The one that you like. Support them by sharing their videos. Support them by talking about them. Let your old friend, 5,000 friend, let them know the one artist that you love to talk about. Let them subscribe to his YouTube channel. For, for your information now, I, I can tell you, like, I have one of the big collabs, but I can't put it out because my platform is weak. The you YouTube subscribers the is weak. And the person who did the collab with me Say the reason is not to use the collabo to build your platform. Let your people accept you, and then you will be a Arwekwa, which is a shooting star. <laughs> <laughs> My G in the building, you know what's up? That, that's no, funny, brother. No, no. But but let, let, let me tell you, this is 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 just very interesting conversation. Can you tell me today if 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 if, if I want to invest five hundred thousand dollars on a South Sudanese artist? Do you think my money is guaranteed, Mike D, at the moment? That's a good question. You know, for you to think like that, to invest your money in somebody, you need to have a mind to think. For example, let me tell you. Today, we're releasing an EP of five songs. EP, in fact, let me let me break that one down. Our social media artists don't know even the meaning of EP. EP, you cannot make 12 song, 13 song, or 8 song an EP. 8 song, that's a album. 7 song, that's a album. The EP, if you are listening there, my brothers and sisters, the EP means the half of the album. And to make it the half, you need to put it five and one extra boner single that you have released before that people know, for that single to sell the EP. That's a bonus track. If we release an EP, me and you, Barack, that's the agreement. First of all, the photo should need to be done proper. Yes, professionally. Yep. The artwork of any cover need to be designed proper. The music videos need to be shot proper. Two, we need to set a media tool. 
that thing is not by pleasing people share my video do this media's radio station they have a system that they work on you pay for promotion if you do that now come to the ep itself is barack raising his 500,000 you know these songs we have to make sure they can sell one one song we put silver x in done two another song we put kang jj in see three come to kenya get somebody that have a name put him in come to uganda somebody that have a name put him in come to tanzania put him in now go back to south sudan you listening barack yes i'm listening yes yeah. <laughs> come to south sudan see who is the famous artist pay him sort him out shoot the video that the thing now do the official launching print your cds with a cd code that they cannot be copyright if you print 500 they are 500 nobody can copy them if you try to copy them they ask for the pin nobody know the pin said done now that's for the audio now the videos print a cd with the same pin for the videos set the media tour go on tour talk about it talk about it talk about it and when they are about to get tired release one single so hide them up go on medias talk about it tell them where to get it and now let the artists from uganda kenya tanzania and south sudan in general post the album and the album you put it on youtube on on itunes each song is one dollar right and then the album is promoted by two million or five million people diamond platinum himself i think he have four million subscribers. <coughs> Come to Kang JJ. Kang JJ have five, five, five thousand subscribers. Yeah. Come to Kenya, they give you maybe two hundred and fifty thousand. Go to Uganda, they give you one hundred and fifty thousand people. You know. Uh, go to South Sudan in general. So in South Sudan, they give you one thousand people. These people they are buying one dollar, one dollar. If two million people buy your album with one dollar, but right? that's a two million dollar. How much is that? And they don't see it big. They're buying with one dollar. Five hundred people from Kenya buy your album. Two hundred people from South Sudan buy your album. Three hundred from uh, Uganda buy your album. Four hundred from Tanzania buy your album, and the rest of people, let's say two hundred and fifty from uh, two hundred and 50 people from australia those who are your friend on facebook another thing instead of buying a album there is another platform if you listen on itunes just to press a song to listen is a 60 cents just to listen yes yes in one year my brother you will be a millionaire if these people share your song and then they support it listen to it and press it but the problem now that we have these people who are selfish, they don't want you to, they don't want them to see anybody successful. Even if you release it, they just push it up. They don't want to open it, whatever it is. But, but <laughs> when it come to that, you know, you explain it very well. And I think people who are listening here, they understand a bit of what you're saying. But as you explain it, with that much of money and with that much of work, don't you think some artists, they will trip up on that process, they will think like you're going to get rich or they will trip up like they're famous enough. They need more money. You know, like, you know, when you work, you work like a uh, That's what you say. Like you work watching your shoulders, who you're working with. People have egos. If I work with whoever I work with, you want to work with whoever I work with. But we have different targets. Yes. You ain't a being in a desert. It's like now doing a good video because Mike did do good video. 
you're going to be a bankrupt. Yes. Mike D spent that, 20, that's 000 a blind competition. Two videos. Yeah. 20,000 US dollars for two videos. And you do that, you're going to be a bankrupt. But Mike D, you don't know how long it took and what way it took and what procedures they use. You know, I went to Africa for only three weeks. I did two shows. I traveled. I went to even Jongule State and I didn't post it on social network. I went to Tanzania. I went to Nairobi. I went to Uganda. I went to Juba. I went to Mading. I did two shows. I did two videos. I did four audios. In Only in one year. In one year, and that's three weeks. Three weeks of flight, of going and coming back. Yeah, yeah. Like when, when you go back to Africa, yep, that's definitely, yeah. So, so what I'm saying about that, you need to have your own target. And if you look at me, I'm working like the same like you and everybody here. We get paid the same. And if you try to save those money, you cannot get them. So now, yes. for me to give you an exam, you end up thinking even for one month, thinking, where do this guy get money? That's a homework, Chagami. And for you to realize where I get money, I'm on another level. So what I'm saying about that is, please push yourself, be your, your own ambassador, be your, be your own idol of where you need to do things and how you need to do things. There's a lot of people outside there that are doing good. But you need to cooperate. Don't create a, a negative uh, competition. The people I work with, to be honest with you, Barack, they're really good. But the one thing I appreciate about myself is when I step in, people appreciate the work I did with them. That makes me feel good like I'm growing to be good too. Because if I was not growing to be good, you cannot work with Jay-Z and the song became hit because Jay-Z is in. Yes, yes. I work with Sunny Man. He's a great artist. We did a hit song. I work with uh, Seven the Governor. We did a good song. I work with Young Low, we did a good song. I work with Ali Juma, we did a good song. I work with Silva, I did a good song. You see? And for me to do that, it's not that I cannot work by myself or work with other people, but what I'm trying to create, I'm trying to create that chemistry of working together because I believe together we can make it. And I do believe you're putting something in too. You're coming with something. You're not just coming like to promote yourself, but you're coming with something, you know? And yeah, so 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 the point about uh, how people can invest in music, there's so many ways of investing in music. And if you only focus, most of the artists from South Sudan, they just look at South Sudan. They want to go and sing in wedding. They want to sing in fundraising. They want to sing in their community event. Me, even if you ask my community, to be honest with you, they don't even know what I'm doing. Or they don't know if I'm an artist. I do believe that. Yeah, that's my, that's, that's, they know. That's my, that's how, my how, how come, but, yeah, but, 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 Diamond, your, your kid, could you in, could you in, you know? Didn't you have to do Kenna? Or you could do Kenna? Now, then, could you in, could you be a, could you be a, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, they really appreciate it. And the blessing, yeah, it's they definitely. get me. They gave me, they gave me some money. It's, it's a big song. Is I consider that one of the big song, brother. They, let me tell you this. I'm a, one of the lucky people. I wake up one day and I get a message saying that I've been sent money through Dapshiel. I'm the first person in Australia to be sent money from Dapshiel <laughs> since I left Africa. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a that's a big blessing, brother, to get money from so, Africa in the state so, of Africa. Eh? I got the money from Africa and I got the money from USA. So through uh, ATEG do, some beautiful ladies send me money. And do you know what I did with the money? I what did you another, did with it? Video. I did another, I did, no, not a video. I did another hit the song. Another hit money. song with that money. And when the song is out, I will let people know. And I guarantee it will be a hit song. Because it's, it's actually the money is blessing. That's why I said, look, even your lawyer Pyogen, you know, when you do everything from your pure heart as you're doing your workout, I know you can get paid, but you have to do your job properly, you know. When you're putting your vision out there and people they are happy, they're giving you something, that is actually a great thing. 
you know and it's very great mike d i want to interact with some people here in your teach pain they're telling you what is your real name my real name is michael Duden. <laughs> that's my name michael Duden. so michael is mike what is d so 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 hr dwot his name is dwot yeah exactly yeah and it's like a quick english it's all and it's all a hope do I'm the hope. Do this for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah it's for hope. Tomorrow. It's yeah. actually the meaning of hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can say and, I don't, I don't the hope to the South Sudan music. That's actually great. That with no shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that passion, you know. Look, mm. it's, it's, it's a very great conversation. Let 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 remind our audio if you have any questions, particular question you want to ask. Uh, Mike D, we're just coming out here to chat. Uh, today about his music. Uh, I think Music Chikoloi, they had a collab uh, with uh, Silver X. Silver X was here. I think we're still live now. When the video finishes, you're going to see from the start Silver X has been here, but he was engaged with some a few things that why he left early. That's why we left over here with uh, Mike D, but we're still doing a very great conversation. As we saw, Sudanese, how we're going to support our artists and how really we can invest in our own music in order really to create a platform where we can really, you know, do a lot of things as a people in South Sudan because your own always has to be your own. Like what you said, if you want to find the new video, actually you can go to YouTube. Uh, you, if you can not type yeah, Benaya, you can type Mike D. It Straight away it will come up. And subscribe, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. So that's a great thing. Mike D, let me come to the questions here. Uh, as your experience in music industry, uh, can, what, what, what sort of music do you like much, you know? You know, and you, 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 you have solo and you have a few mix. You uh, get the Jing. They call it Kobulu or Kobulu. So, what, what 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 do you like the most? What do you th where do you see yourself actually match? Where do you lean into those sort of music, or do you think you are a general person who can, you know, yeah, go with anything? Know, like, yeah, that's a good question. But I thank you. But for me, I will say that me, I don't have a, a music that I choose like to do. Music is, is universal. Me, I like to. I like to sing, I love to sing, I like to do something different, but my main target, I need to do it with something, you know, like with my voice, there's something that I know about it, and that's what's going to nail it to be like my D. For me to say, well, uh, I'm an upcoming or I'm an underground artist, I mean something for me to say that. You know, for you to say that you are big or you are artist is not about the good work you have done, the good video or the hit song you have made. It's for you to set a record whereby like, if somebody play your song, they don't need to ask for your name, who is that artist? They identify you through your voice. If you are known through your voice, it's the same now if you hear Michael Jackson singing, you will never ask who is that artist? You know Michael sound, right? Yes, 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 definitely. That's, sure. that's that's what our my fellow brothers and sisters need to do. You need to create your sound for you to be known as you. If people are confused to say, "Oh, this guy sound like whiskey or sound like Jay Z," you are not lucky. You need to do something different. For me, no, for my lazy, something. yeah, for my lazy boys, the voice I have, I have a lazy voice. These boys, I don't think like there's an artist that will have it. Is a lazy voice or is a thick voice? To me, I define it as a lazy boy. And this one, even though the guys like the guys don't like it, trust me, their sisters like it. <laughs> Mom, I'm coming into here now. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Mike D, Mike D, Mike D. This is, let me, be, be, because we're chatting a little bit, you know, make it easy. What I want to ask Mike D, you've been in the music industry for a short period of time, at which you said, but you've been through a lot. You experience a lot. Mm -hmm. You have done a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the first time, for you being quell, being a star, mm -hmm. how did you handle your starness? Because being famous sometimes is pretty tough. You know, you know, a lot of everybody want to engage with you. 
especially you know girls want you this side the other side you know everybody seeing you know you want to get something out of you they say you famous you rich you this how did you handle that when you're coming to your fame especially when you become famous at you know, how did you handle it you know for me i would say like when i when i became famous i can talk more about it but now at the moment i'm a guy who like i can say that i'm kind to those who are humble those who have nothing those who who really live like life from the ground get to life i'm really much connected to them and i do really actually help people outside the box like people will never know it i've tried to help a lot of people for you now but like in a lot of people on 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 different ways like in different ways like of helping them but the reason i do that is not that i want to be famous that's why you guys don't know it i want to help because my heart said so to help and the reason i suffer for me to to grow is because i'm real if you are real nothing is easy for you you know but if you are fake thing are easy for you the reason i'm here now i'm being fought by the people who are afraid of me because if i get to the top they will lose hope they they feel a shame seeing me growing and i know that and i laugh with them night and day i play with them night and day i don't hate them back because it's not that i'm a great singer i don't sing good more than them they are good singers but you know like i can say like if you hate someone that god love most you are in trouble with god i know i do believe i do believe god love everybody <laughs> but god have sent me to have a duty to play you know it's not always in a church or in a politic but i have a system to create yes <laughs> yes i mean I, i'm interacting here with some people you know there's a question here down here uh from uh, pastor samuel came a joke you know he's just telling you my d how are you and how you doing is there is any way that our local artists can build a music tv for example like you know the beat uh show of kenyan to play it every day like 6 pm or something like just for our own music yeah it's uh, uh thank you samuel uh, samuel is a good fan of the music it support young people big up to himself he's a pastor by the way kenyan the same Kien. 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 this guy this guy is a, is a, is a, is a son from heaven you know because most of the pastors they don't like all this bullshit but this guy is is not bullshit <laughs> no to, to other yeah. pastors they call say they don't like all this too much yeah okay yeah they they consider that right yeah yeah, yeah. but the bullshit mm. they do them pastors is worse than what the artists do so i'm sorry to say that but it's reality you know for the uh, for the question to teach uh, for the question we have already started you know we have so many shows like your shows now on a brag talk with brag we don't know what it will turn into in next two years and for about you because i don't know where you're going but us are you there brag yeah i'm there i'm just with listening us, to you yeah with that yeah with that akp we have a akp media online that interview artists do the same job you do and our goal we started from facebook and we will aim at being on tv so the dream is still young we have a professional people we have yara jack she started journalism she's a professional journalist uh, yeah she's, she's doing platform. actually a good show in in, in that platform yeah I've, I've, I'll, br- i'll bring her one day up here when 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 she we got the right time yeah i've seen her she's doing well yeah so Yara Jack, she's the CEO of the AKP Media. She's an ambassador for that. What need to be done for the page and for promotion? The reason we create that system, we need to start dreaming now. Instead of saying we need to have money, money don't build dream. Dream is bigger than the money. You know, dream is bigger than the money. For example, now there's people who have million of dollars in their account. and they don't want to do anything they're waiting if they die their their families will use the money they have in their bank account but for us the dream is running the dream is running more than the money and we call it a 
a ghost rider. There's no fuel, but it's still running. You see, like. For, <laughs> so so for for Abuna, thank you so much for always being with us. But AKP Media, that's AKP TV. So it's not for anybody. It's for all sorts of the need. But yeah, he, like he, he, yep, he's he's he's, a, he's asking particularly something to play music, for example, for two hours for one hour, for 30 minutes, without any talk, just playing music. No one can happen even today. We used to do that back then. We used to play music. But the problem with playing music now, that you, uh, the Facebook have changed. Uh, one thing people don't know about Facebook, every song you play on Facebook, and it's a song that copyright, that song, yes, yes. they will be charging you money. Yes. Not knowing. They will subtract money from your data, not knowing. So those DJs who DJs online, they have to write it. I don't own the copyright of these songs to play the songs, you know. But for different platform, if you try to do that, it's illegal. It's even coming soon. Facebook will start charging people for to, to, to be used because it's being used like the way they see it. They're not making money. This is a business. You know that. Facebook is business. So for us to create that online and do that, we are doing the same thing that others are doing. Barack is doing it. Uh, Ecuadorian TV is doing it, Junoop Salev is doing it, everybody is doing that. So we leave it like to do that and we need to collect the data of the South Sudan music industry by interviewing artists. And the interview, we go and sit back and watch it. We write their point down. Whatever talk show they do, we take some point from it and from that point, we are doing something that will help us later. We need to see where are the problems. In South Sudan, we have a lot of problems. It's not about playing music. We don't have a Kechola uh, uh, artist union, whereby like too many in Tanzania, we all have Kechola Basata. My behavior on social network, I'm count responsible by the Basata. And these people, they can put me to jail. They can give me fine with my behavior. I'm not allowed even to 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 to, to, to do, to come on the social to network and try, yeah, and try to bring my sexual life, you know, to, to, to that step yeah. close off. And then abuse the law, driving like I'm on phone, and then I'm leaving a stair wheel to run by itself. Those behavior are not allowed. But in South Sudan, we don't have that platform that can control us. That's why you see, like in Facebook, some artists are forcing their sisters' photos naked and all that because we don't have a system to guide us. Everybody is his own driver. Everybody can do anything he wants. You can abuse anybody. You can do anything. But for us to come as an AKP. To create that, it will cost a lot of money. Because now to take you as Barack and say, leave your own show and come and work for AKP, you need to get paid. Yes, more than what I do here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what we are doing, we're collecting, we're collecting a data file. And when we did that, we will bring a system whereby like we can play. Some artists too, if you keep playing their song in this platform. But, but, but do you think like, doing kind of an artist uh, say an artist union don't you think when you have really say qual or say productive artists artists who can really generate generate revenue that way by you can make a uh, artist union really everybody just because when you become an asset you have to behave well because a lot of people you know eat behind you yeah. or, or, yeah. or 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 you you know have to take care of a bunch of people Don't you yeah. think that level in South Sudan now, really, our artists, they are really assets yet? Or just everybody is struggling individually? In South Sudan, uh, what we have uh, in South Sudan, I can call it like, we have a setup shop in South Sudan, like, uh, it's not a business. Artists are being used as project, you know. You being an artist, you are not even imp important. Like you can work on song and somebody want to invest in that song more than you and you are getting nothing. For example, if I say now, like most of the uh, foreign artists take a letter to South Sudan, they're being paid 10,000 US dollar for the show of one hour. And do you know how much South Sudanese artists are being paid? They're being nothing. paid even if, if, they, if they're lucky, if you're big, you're being given $200, which is like a difference of 9,000, 800 with that for an artist, you know. What does okay. what, 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 what is the new things that foreign artists bring? South Sudanese artists don't bring. 
What is that? That's the problem. If you were a promoter and I ask you that question, you will hate me forever. You will never put me in your shows. Because we, you have saw everything, Barack, everything going on even in wrestling, everything going on even in youth leadership. Now if we bring somebody to come and lead artists, if we look at this person, if you don't like him, it will burn his song. If you don't like him, it will burn him for no reason. If you don't like him, it will not give him shows, you know, because you don't like him. So that's you human want... ego. It's not even human ego. We South Sudanese, I don't know how to describe us in every platform. There's no platform that we fit in. In religions, we fail. Everywhere, we fail. In South Sudan, like in Jongle State, they show. Yeah, hello. Bye. Yes. Are you there? Yeah, in yes, Sudan, I'm there. Yeah. No, in South Sudan, there's no shows. Because there's somebody sick there, you need attention to come and fight in the show to destroy it. We don't even have fun anymore. You coming for fun, it turned out to be a different result. And who is the enemy? We used to say that Arab is the enemy, all this. Now we are enemy of our own progress. Should we blame ourselves? Don't you think we are really still indigenous? We think we, we educated Mike D. Let me, let me take you out of music a little bit, you know, because I'm going to ask you, what do you do actually normally, you know, outside of your uh, music things? Don't you think we are still indigenous, Mike D? We see ourselves as educated, but sometimes we hold on on some stuff when you look at it, you know, say we're keeping it, it's ours. But it, at the same time, it doesn't make sense. Don't you think we're still indigenous? Who trying to learn and we are in a process of learning? I'm sorry to say this. Yeah. We are not learning, we are, we are not learning and we have not learned anything. I'm sorry to say that, but that's the truth. Now you as Barack, as you're talking to me in this platform, maybe now we have maybe like less than 20 viewers. And it's not because they don't know that we are live. It's because maybe they don't want to watch Mike D. They don't want to see show Mike D. Chetian. Or they don't want to see like Barack is, Barack is getting bigger. You know, like to say somebody is a stupid, the stupidity is not by not going to school. That's what people took wrong. A stupidity is hating something unstoppable. That's a very that, great point. Yep. That's a stupidity. Unstoppable thing you cannot hate. You know? We, nobody want to see anybody succeeding. Like even, like example, let me say it in Western. But, but, but yeah, where, 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 where is that come from? Yeah. Go, go ahead. That one came from, um, they came from our selfishness. Selfishness, egos, stupidity. We, people in Western, who came like particular, like in South Sudan, the people back home are better than us. You know, you to graduate, it's a paper. But what do you have in brain? The only thing that we, I see that we have achieved is by writing and reading. But the knowledge that's, that- that's, that's not an I achievement, know. writing and reading. Mm. Yeah, me, yeah. yeah. That's the only thing I can see I can that we have achieved. But the real thing that we were looking for to go and give to people is not there. I'm not a politician, but uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Look, is, is your opinion is great. You, you're a young man. You, you're a young man yeah. who coming up do, do, doing your own things through your experience. Definitely, we can take yeah. it on. Yeah, Dr. John said that I can see a food, but I don't see anybody who can share it to people. Yes. Uh, b b b before yeah, so before we continue, went, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, it's, it's a very good, a very good, a very itself, good example. Go ahead, yeah. Yeah, that word itself can tell you he already lost a hope. Because we, South Sudanese now, 
we are by our own. Nobody is disturbing us, no leading us. We are leading ourselves. But there is a big problem than before. Where is the problem coming from? You know? You, for you to be great or to be successful, you need to claim yourself you are from a certain community. I did that. I'm a one of them. I did a song called Duku Duk. I did song Duk Flower. I did song Dung Danya. But in those You songs, have to start from home, brother. The enemy. Mm. Are you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm here, yeah. I, I, yes. I, I, I wonder... <laughs> I want the enemies from from those songs and I give the credit back to the woman, you know. <laughs> but to be honest with you, to be honest with you, like the how the thing are going now, as you can see, we keep denying it that thing are going well and all that, but things are not going well. And the only way that for thing to go well is for us to come to be ambassadors, to be the leaders, everybody take his mistake, put it on his head. If you did a mistake, I don't have to blame where you came from or your family. Is you, you know? And that's why if you go to my Facebook, you have never seen me sharing anything apart from my music. I'm on Facebook yes. because of music. Yes. And that that that, that, that is that is a useful thing. But All right, Mike D. Yep, yeah. I can can you hear me? All right. Just let 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 have a break. But I yeah, I can hear you, but I don't know why you can. Let's have a break. Let me play the, 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 the video. And we can. Hmm. Can you hear me? Hello, Barrett. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, yeah. All right. Let 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 go for a break. I uh, just want to play the music mm -hmm. for people to see your music. And then after that we uh uh we come back again. All right, guys, I just want to play the new music called Ya Binea. That's what I'm talking about. Girl, we go Google you. Until we find you, I give silver excel. First time I saw your face, and you, you were the woman meant for me. Every day you look so fine. With your beauty, you look so nice. Girl, I'm making me proud for you and I. Every day you look so fine. You look so sexy. Girl, I, girl, I want to marry you. Girl, I wanna take you home and make you my baby. Don't even say no because I wanna make you my lady. Girl, like you had to be found. My love for you flow like a water on the river Nile. Girl, you are so nice and kind. It's the pink, it's Jamila. I've been tea, it's a wheeler. My love for you is not for money, baby. Your love is so crazy. I was a stacky bang bang bang. Who's a stacky bang bang baby? I was a stacky bang bang bang. Who's a stacky bang bang? I was a stacky villa man. Who's a stacky bang bang baby? Calvia stacky be his own. Who's a stacky bang bang baby? Avenida, you look so fine. Beauty, <laughs> Another one, maybe one day, and I better as I do need a turkey take on my time, baby. Don't mala turkey, say I go get battery. Give up a turkey, that battery has to be, baby. I never tell him what you know. Give bang bang, who's a turkey bang bang, baby? I'm a turkey bang bang. 
Yes, 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 yes. We're back. That was a great break. Uh, it's really a great music, you know. That's my D music and feed uh, Silver X. If you want to get it, please go to YouTube channels. S subscribe my D YouTube channels as well as you can listen to a few songs at the same time. Uh, it's a very great song. This is a question related about that song, Mike D. Do you think our people have value? in our own product. For example, if I'm in Europe, Sudan, you're cool well if I'm here. If I'm a mechanic, a great mechanic working for my shops, most of South Sudanese, they don't want to come to me because they think I won't do it well. But that's Kawaja even going to cheat on them. They can go to that Kawaja. What do you think? Do we trust our own product? Mm, no, we are enemies of we are enemy of our own made. We don't support our own, so I don't agree. Like we support. If anybody say that we do support, I can say maybe our women do support us. Our women do support us. Everything about that ninety nine percent they are women. Men are that, enemies that. of progress. <laughs> men, men are very competitive all right if, if if women support us why don't you see a lot of women in south sudanese music on the top latter the reason is that number one they don't have good directors to direct them to their dreams number two they ain't are being used in a state of being lead to where they want to be so especially women i'm talking here especially about women yeah women yeah. there's so many great artists there outside there but the only reason i see them failing is because they don't have people to support them because of what they are doing they ain't are being supported because of the relationship they ain't are being supported because of the different interests people are interested in them so it's easy for South Sudanese female to to fail than the male so it's all come back to us again it come back to us, men. So we don't like to see our women doing different. If they're trying to go into another level, we start dissing them. We start creating problems instead of supporting them. Music is not a good thing. To be All right. Okay. Why, 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 why don't we see them? I uh, know. Forget about the other generation. We say like all generation, forget about that. Maybe they are traditionalists. They don't want to sing. They don't want to come out. But in your generation, if you see now your generation, it's still the same. It's, it's statistic. If you see, if you go 20 years back or 30 years back, is it still the same statistic? What is happening? Do you think this generation is lazy? This generation are not lazy. The only difference I can see, they're desperate of fame. They're not lazy. They try to do work, to work hard. But the way they do it, they do it like, you know, like there's a Nigerian comedian, they say it like there's something called redemical madness. Redemical madness is when you do something and then things go out of control, you became crazy, but that was not your expectation. Your expectation is to do it nice. But for South Sudanese artists, if things go out of their hands, 
they become crazy and put blames. So is it is 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 really a deep process, eh? Yeah. So most of the artists who made it to a certain level and they fail, they're putting blame now that people don't support, people don't do that, people. But for you to be supported, you need to be supporting yourself Active. before people support you. You don't have to yeah. do things because people are supporting you. Me, I don't do music because people support me. I do music because I want to do it. And I don't expect anything from it. I don't expect anybody to support it. I don't expect anybody to give me money. I'm doing it because I love it. That's a passion. Yeah. But it's supposed to be our people to support our own passion as well. So that it should be part of it as people moving together. So just to, to become, really to wrap it up, we have a very good chat, Mike D. I think we stay here for a bit and uh, it's great to chat with you, you know. Can I, for you, for this our generation, we've been talking about a lot of things, even, you know, we went to different things. I want to take you just a bit outside of music as a young man who live in Western world, you know. Where do you see the future of South Sudanese music is going? Do you think it will be drive from Western world or will be will be driven from back home, South Sudan? Back home. Not here. Yep. Back home. Back home. So back home way. will drive the. They will. Yep. They, 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 they will drive the music, back yep. to the uh, what do you call? It? So not really people from outside, from people who in the Western world, for example, artists who are in the Western world now. Do you think they will not make an impact on our own music back home? They will not make any impact because why the focus uh, the focus is on money we artists included my d our focus is on money but their focus is on fame and when you became famous you became business being famous is a business the people who know your name they are money <laughs> that's how i see it <laughs> Do, do, do you think South Sudan is famous in business? <laughs> in which level? The business. Today, I know, I know. It's, yeah. You know, this is where we go wrong. Like today, if I tell you, if you produce a production, say that I don't want each other going to cut or I don't want each other, you will be rich because people will buy that meal. Money, each other going to cut. Is a brand. If if you put Magana yeah, Coach, nah. if you put if if you put Magana Coach a charcoal, chair you got a wood cake, carton of char, and production kulele lele na wood cake, yin riyala, but chair Magana Coach. That's a big brand. Magana Coach and his muscle is a brand because he's famous. He's money already. Nobody want to use him, but he's a money already. That 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 will come back to our business mind. You know, it's about, you know, I know it's money, everything is money, sport is money, whatever a brand around you is money, but it's just about, you know, we cannot afford to do things the way we are. As I said before, we're still indigenous, we're still growing, and I hope we're going to really grow better. Can I, what, what, where do you see South Sudanese music going here in the Western world? Today, Mike D is doing his music, uh, he's well known. And he's growing. Where do you see this South Sudanese music going? Mm, to me, I cannot predict the nature, but I can say it a little bit about it. Because back then in 2017, I said what the crisis we're facing now, I told them that we're going to have a big problem. And there's fewer. Now, as I'm talking to you, people will come to support. But when artists see people supporting them, they will create a problem that will disappoint and discourage the supporters. And there, from there, we will lose direction. That's what I can see. The only thing that can stop that 
is for us to accept who we are and to know what we need to be. Because those people who are running is like a driver joining the highway, don't know his exit, <laughs> don't know where and, the exit is. That driver and driving people. A, yeah, that driver will cause an accident because when the exit comes, he will say, this is, this is, and then that's it. Because he don't know how far the exit to on the left or to on the right, he don't know. And that's okay. how we crash. Yep. All right. Before be, before I come to the last question and what you're gonna say to our audience, I think uh, yeah. what 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 type of music do you listen to? You an artist, you a musician, but I, what type of music you listen to? Yeah, you listen to Diarikanisa. You listen to your own music. You listen to what type of music? I listen to to a dead music. I listen to a dirty music. I don't know if you can understand what I mean by dirty music. I listen yes. to the music, the nature power. I do love like Bopini Diade Kanisa and then favorite songs that I listen to from Kanisa. And in WhatsApp yeah. group, I have so many members of church at way Diade Kanisa. Yes. And if I would like to buy one song from Kanisa, there's a lead naked in your copa in your in For me, if I was the one who made that song, I would say this is a worldwide hit. That song can even fit in the club, you know, <laughs> because people take it wrong like club it and a couple shit down the plate and a chair in. Quite a club, I call it a neology. As long as you're breathing, so, you know, I'll let you... Yeah, so it depends what you dance to. To me, I listen to the music, then power. In music, I don't get you the dead. Did be band, but he did, I think, his own power of getting big. And that's where you say, like, there's an evil work in it, there's luminary, and there's so on. People put excuses on it. But I listen to these powerful... I, I listen to these powerful songs. But I never happy. Yeah. Mm. I listen to this powerful song that most of them I talk about crimes, talk about dirty stuff, I jam about love in a dirty version. But there's something you learn from them that helped me. And turn it to positive. Then taking that negativity. You know, for somebody to talk sexual or talk dirty, it depends on you what your mind needs to accommodate. It's not on the person singing the song. There's something that your mind can accommodate and there's something you, your mind will say no to it and pretend like you have not listened to any song, you know? So to me, the reason I listen to those songs, they help my mind work. I need something to keep my mind running because no me engine. Do you, do, 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 do you think Yannicka needs a song? Yannickan is a song, it was done by Dikat and is a, is a really actually good song. But to me, I listened to it once, that was 2017 when it came out. And it was really done properly. And it's a good song. That's what I listened but what, to. But what, what, what was the meaning of that song to you? Mm, the, the meaning of that song, it was like... A year and chill a yab, you know, until a band can land there, could land there until a bacon, a joke of bell, a way of getting it. So it was a hunting game. So it didn't wait. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't like telling people a message like a hunt side in Yal, but in Yanakanisa till a bay. So the way I listened to them in the art they were designing there is like, I hunters, quite yellow, I love Louis Aina, big chat girl, a bay. So to me, I this. A street girl and the, uh, all these girls to somewhere at Chigapol could live in the Kanisa. So it was really a uh, good move. And then, can I, can I, can I, I, I heard about, I heard a lot about this street girl, this Nyanakanisa girl. Can I, what is the difference here? I just sometimes want to digest this, but I, I just heard this, this, <laughs> this kind of, 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 say, sound. What is the difference? The difference of Nyanakanisa, there is a real, there is a real Nyanakanisa and there is fake Nyanakanisa, according to me. A real it's not about the song, but real life. But what is a real what is the real thing in Kanisa? What is not a real thing? That's the problem here. 
the real thing, you know, Kanisa is a is is full with uh pretenders. It's full with a uh, a people who are there because they need to be seen there. I'm one of them. But the the truth But don't 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 you think even the way you pretend to go to Kanisa and you want to be seen there, don't you think they you get a Don't you think they get in your loom? Even even you're not going for that target, but at least when you go there, I don't kill a band by getting in. Yeah, I don't kill a band by getting in a little bit of a There's something you can come out with it from church, either good or bad. Some of them came with the different numbers from their girlfriend or from the new girl they met in church. One of them. Some came with a with a good feeling that their relationship with God is really good. And Some, some of like, them psychologically settled down. Yeah, some came like they are afraid, like their mistakes are not forgiven. Some of them came out happy, feeling the joy that they are forgiven. Some of them came out depressed because the topic that the pastor was preaching in the church is targeting them. Some came, <laughs> was targeting them or, or, or was the truth? Yeah, about the truth. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, you sometimes, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's great, it's really, it's really, it's really great, bag D. Thank you a lot. Uh, we, I really enjoy the conversation, you know, we started, you know, out, uh, uh, but I think, yeah, going to church sometimes is better than nothing, and you know, it's, it's, it's better to get a, your head somewhere, somehow, to do something. Uh, to bring you out of the mess if you are in that mess. Anyway, just last question, uh, not even last question, but what do you want to, to say to your fan, to our fan? And, you know, you've been a great talker today. We we had this conversation when we started, you know, and we come all the way, you know, both of you, uh, Silver X and you, and then we left and we keep chatting together. Uh, it's a great thing. So what 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 is your really last words you want to say to your fan, mm. your friends, people who always listen to your songs? Yeah, to to people who support my D, who listen to my D music, thank you for listening. I will never give up giving you something good. More is coming. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will feed you. If I disappoint you today, next tomorrow I will put another one that will make you smile. That's my D style. AKP, we have a lot of artists which are working with the good stuff. Soon, thing will be out. Uh, Bjorkisa now is on another level, which is I see him as a face of Sarsida and Bjorkisa music. Uh, I see his energy is really hot. And if you want to be on the same line with him, it's good. Keep working too, because he's really working hard. And big up to everybody, man. I love you guys. Love is like by not disturbing you, be kind, cares about you, how you feel, and to our community. Hmm. You guys need, so our community, man, you guys need to wake up. And wake up, I mean, if you're listening there, how many audience do we have there? We have about 28 audience here in my side. That's a lot. Okay, to my to the 28 audience, uh, I do believe you guys are from the same community or different community. My message to you guys, you guys need to wake up before you get the wake up call. Wake up before you get the wake up call because wake up call will not be really good for us. And this thing is going to all these community leaders. If you will not support Mike D because he talk crap or he don't support your politics, it's okay, man. But we have to say the truth. Because we are the generation that will suffer. But this is this 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 is generating another question now, what you said, Kede. Don't you think there's a differences between languages? Uh a lot of people who are part of the Rane when they you doing a pit kumiode wala yell n nakryong kujola twar and they get the meaning of what they do. And this generation here, what they get what do you think? To me, in okay, my uh, own opinion, the uh, impression, uh, if you have a sibling from today, 
for you to know they are not they are not they are not your kids they are not your brothers they are not your friends i these are this is these are rebel this is another new movement a new generation and, and the reason i say that we create the problem before them we judge them we don't build relationship with them we overlook them but what we don't know is like overlooking your right hand or your left hand saying this is the bad hand so do you think it's a big gap there they have already created a gap by how they form a leadership from here that make their kid excited that these people are coming to work for us every day we will be having a soccer every day we will be having a barbecue every saturday we will we will socialize with the kids from melbourne they will be creating tournament they will our mothers and our fathers they will come and watch us if the kids are playing game their mothers are busy doing saloon hair their daddies are busy on phone creating a public everybody want to go to j1 where are the kids we are not doing their interest they create a leadership leadership focus in africa and don't focus here you collect their money they don't see barbecue the western system you collect the money they want to see the what you have done with the money but what what whatever don't you think this generation are very busy doing their own things and there are a lot of under influence of for example of of of, of alcohol and they don't even want to be truthful with their parents don't you think that no this generation like to be honest with you parents are the problem if i'm the government of western i will arrest all the parents don't you think that's a, a bit harsh to arrest all the parents they is their uh -huh. own problem no because why i say that the way we are getting the way we are raised is different than how other people are raising their own kids you know here what our targets are two things everybody want to buy a house everybody want to do this fake fake campaign of saying sending your you what cool and 50 dollar and campaign again is other when the woman saying that it are pure little thing little go to the bank bought it 70 700,000 loan and buy a house act like you rich while you poor who's the stupid now it's very tough don't and you think it's a culture shock now as i'm talking to you if you go online they are doing for raising raising 100,000 that one make the government so government of South Sudan more lazy and more careless because they have already seen another government instead of them. We actually, we, we, we in the Western world here who say the migrant or refugee, we have a very serious wealth. Go back home. We have a very serious wealth. But and even, I don't know. And, yeah. And for, yeah. You, and for you as one of them, I can say you one of them because this one now you bring it up. I want to hear yeah. it before. I'll be <laughs> yeah. one of them. You have never tell them what they're doing wrong. Because if you don't tell them what they're doing wrong, if you don't tell a dog, it's not good to make noise at night. It will keep making noise. Is 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 let me, let, let me defend a little bit on this side. It's not because what they're doing is wrong. But at least what they are doing they helping in some sense helping who helping who and from where helping what you call a survival community you know okay hang up there hang up there if we do know that we don't have anybody to help us why do we have what we call government why do we have what we call members in the parliament? Why do we elect it to MPs? What are they for? That's that that that, that is a different case, you know. That that, that will okay. go deep into to, 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 to politics. See, but see, I, I want something as a refugee here. As a refugee, what we're not doing well, yeah. We are not refugee because the reason I say that we are not refugee, we are rich. If we can raise the divination of refugee, we miss it. Refugee, Iran, Chinkadang at all, they need help. 
Yes. After five years, actually, you're not a refugee anymore. Yep. But after five years, the solution that you find for you not to be a refugee. But refugee to another country called South Sudanese. It's okay to be a refugee. It doesn't matter how many years. And the people and the people even creating the situation for us to be refugee is us. Nobody wants peace. Everybody wants war to go on to continue to be a refugee. Not 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 really, but this is what is happening. You know, let let me put it in a in a big picture as you brought it up. You know, and then after that, I think we go. Let let let, let me put it in a big picture, Mike D. All right. Uh, hello. Hello. You love a pig eye. Okay, but your cutter went dark. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. I'm gonna do back. Somebody okay, knows. yeah. All right, yeah. Yep, uh, you can listen to me, Mui? Yeah, I can listen to you. I don't know what yeah, happened to the camera. That, that, that's all right. That's all right. I think somebody called you, and then I think your picture will come back again after. Yeah. But 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 as long as long as you're listening to me, mm. all right? Yeah. Uh, we've been in a war zone for a very long time. Yep. Uh, we have, say, three generations. The first generation which is now people who are running South Sudan, all their life they are in war. The second generation, which is, say, go between Jesh Amr and before, uh, these are the ones now are fighting again. And the third generation who grow up in Eastern country, uh, refugee camp. So if you take all these three generations, most of the people, they have no professional job in their lifetime. And then suddenly we become in Western world, where you call uh, Western world. And then after that, you think in the next 10 years, we're going to do better straight away, or we're going to do well. I will, I will, let me, let me, let, let me get you, let, 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 let me get you again, Tan. Okay, I don't know what happened, but what I will do is this. Uh, let me have a break, guys. Okay. Yes. Yes, you're back. Yep. You know, but I... Yep, yeah. Did you listen to my like, question? Yeah, one thing I would like yep. to add, you know, being a politician is to say lie. I don't like politics. But no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't say that. Uh, it's, it's not being lying. Being politics is not bad. Politics is, 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 a, is about betterness of the society in a real sense. But the way we use it, hmm? they change it, my brother. Okay, this I is, thought this, this is my opinion, yeah. Okay, I thought Australia built by they build it by politics and America build it by politics. Go ahead, go ahead. That's what they tell you, but the truth, kicker. Mm. Mm. Everybody know the truth, even your own kids. They know the truth. There's a lot of way. Let me change it. Like I'm not a politician, but I will change it to Dinka, yeah, because this mm. is a different platform. And the reason yeah. I say this. I'm not yeah. talking about Africa. I'm yeah. talking about here. Yeah. Midcore in Western world, they're going through a lot. Yes. Nobody, nobody listen to them. Nobody yes. want to solve their problem. They leave them with their problem. Only thing they do to them is blame. You know. Do you, Do you think panic I'm away? Not, I'm not saying that is all of them. There's some of the kids that who are crazy. They cannot listen. But few of them. They have been dragged out because of situation that their parents have put them into. Me myself, I don't have a father here and I don't have a mother. You know, 
but I'm a leader of myself. I know yes. how to say no, and I know how to say yes. Yes. I have to say yes to the thing that I understand properly. If I don't understand what you are saying, I cannot agree to it. Even though, even though mm -hmm. you want to give me money, I need to know why you're giving me money. But there are some people who hang between. They're not from Africa and they're not from Western. They're stuck in the middle. You know? You and do you, think why, do you think why is that they're stuck in the middle? Do you think why is that? They're stuck in the middle because what their parents are telling them and what they're seeing on TV and what the digital network is telling them is different. You know, it's like to tell somebody, one is one, two is two. But if you twist it, they say how? You don't have no idea. And if you make it like this, they say it's two. If you put them like that, they say it's 11. It's confusing, you know? There's some people, the network of understanding is too short. You know, that in life, the thing you go through, the thing, the thing, the thing that you go through, they can teach you a lot of things. People learn through their mistake. Me, I've done, I've done a lot of couple mistakes for me to be who I am. And I have not succeeded yet. Maybe I can fail or I can succeed. But the history itself will tell itself by example, not by saying it, I came from here. It would be a longer story for me to explain, you know. But we here, my brother, when I came to Australia 2013, Australia was really very good than now. <laughs> so, 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 so you, you come to Australia 2013? Yeah. Okay. Australia was really very good than now. So, even in 2013, you think it was good? Because that's when I came and I find it like people love themselves. People are doing the right thing. Nobody focus with the, what is happening in Africa. I'm not saying for us to hate Yeah, people. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We had that feeling even when we come. Like, I came here 2004, but we had that feeling, you know? People, yeah. People, people used to be one community. But after all this crap, I don't know where it came from. African. Was African. Go talk tech. East Africa, go talk tech. South Sudan, Nicotoria, go talk tech. No, I talk tech. Dinka, I talk tech. Dinka itself, book a tear, road over a take again, you know. Then Dukena, then two year, then board, you know. Lagule tell a racom, go let them come or then a yual, then a payaz, then to know whatever come road. And till now, the way it's going, my brother, is going to be you in your house and Eddie in his house. And that's 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 the, actually the direction. That's what we're seeing. And that's the, the direction you have to go there. Let me let me let me tell you this. I think could I? I think the dinner way a story. I was in Vietnam in the 70s, when, when we buy when Americans, you know, uh, when they went to Vietnam, American war, they migrated here. In the 70s, as a community, every day, they were the best. They're doing a lot of things. They are together. You know, they're doing everything. Like in Galway, after 15 years, Maybe be 15 years. Yeah, I told I told you 50 years. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's all right. I uh, I went after 15 years. Community start tearing apart. Everybody start developing by their own. So yeah, I think no kichi five seven years. Sometime people from his community are getting. And that is a normal process for this country. Because we're new, we think we love each other, but the way everything is just, we're growing apart. You know, and that's the destination. We think we're going to stick like this forever, but we're not going to stick like this forever. In case since they come, people who come in 50s and 60s, they are not one community anymore. Only your suburb is a community. But more than that, I think that you know you could say, you dumb. Anyway, thank you, man. Like we we look like we just stay back and we had a good and nice chill. 
and it's great to get out your ideas and you're talking anything you want to say again and then after that we can wrap it up yeah like the way uh, general is, it's good for you to protect your platform you know because you didn't care to make clear you didn't make it clear that you agree <laughs> with me or you disagree with me but what i'm saying here either look yeah we like, either we like it or not you know for you to say the truth don't be afraid of truth because truth make you feel good there's nobody is a enemy to be honest yes yeah true But some some thugs let me call them thugs th some thugs create this division so that they can invest in it and they succeed you know no no ma, 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 what one thing i want you to do in this no one actually i have no control in this environment you know we're going through process all right This process, we have a lot of people, they, they think, if our button is, they're not aware. Look, you are the enemy of yourself, not, not, not somebody else. The real enemy is you, yourself. If you don't do really good things, you think it will make you better, you are an enemy of progress of yourself. Look, we come to this country now. You have full potential to work a good job. You have full potential to take your kids to the dinner. You have full potential to go to holiday. But why are those things don't happen in our community? Do you think we're poor, we don't have money, we don't have all this kind of stuff? Why? You know? And no one can stop you doing this. You can go to holiday. You're going to go do some challenges. You can do a lot of things. But why? Do you think there's enemy outside that is stopping us not to do this? Or do you think we're stopping ourselves to do that? You know, since in this topic, Ben, now let me give you a duty to do uh -huh. yourself. Uh -huh. 2017, I went live in Gold Coast, and 40 minutes I spent it advising a young Ding uh -huh. The good thing, he watched, he watched the video and inboxed me and tell me, <laughs> Yeah. But the thing is, like a year back then, is now, they're now happening. They're focused, they're happening. And I did it by joke by reporting Kajanga Dengichanko. Can I ask BS Radio? Pana Junum Sudan, Chene Choko Nothing, Kadita Benaya Ting, Kitchen Mute, Kitchen Kala Utopia, Dear Ipuria, a yoga thing in a set book, a Toria, a moon book, a poor, Changoka Chamara, Krana Bena Yoga Tinga Mugga. That was my report, K joke. You know? But I was saying something. So, the what I was trying to create there, I think Ben Woy, quite a bit rich, Ian Kole, and my brother Kole, and Ian, these people, you could charge you no pin. I call it to in chap, Kotaka can even to intermedia, but it's a queer back girl worthy. Could they way better to intermedge Bella Latina like Chibicham? There are taken between filter, but you wet the mind be my leo. Could there are taken but quelly yet? Could there are taken now? Then so many deals take a towel to him, get to you chap, you know, a twenty genu pinnacle. Could they go lay in barrack like Chan Bucket meat coin? Try bugger Louis Focus meat, Pala coined it. Panagin of Sudan yetting. Upon near near it. In 1991, a chewaka jarwo, chan baga lad, chan beneka ye flad la tieg, or a beneka coil of moo. Kukoika, I bent to your toe in the thing. And the allegiant take it without your money. But the problem, chan ba jung ye get the truth with our community, we will get a good kegger. Allow Tauka Kuni, I get God K emergency. Kulawa Tauka Kani could eat Kuba by Beria. Watch you through a lot. I love well than Grand Corbilla Moy. Love well well like the Kedanga Ajira Corbilla, I Benega Ying, I love you. Teeth bear board by Ben well well by a Corbutier. Well well could quite a lieutenant in the form of you when you were a man in a rear. Now lay quite car, quite because you can really record because a chum cale you can grant the boom did you got. Could really chum. Now you have a theater to cool a yinning akin. Could really and Lana Chonga, Kaka Koitia chum. The thing. Is like you, Balatin Lua Kulaben Kedem Windan Topandu, 
And then more desk can you go and out. I mean, you could be gone now. You take a three car and I can tell you, baby. Well, you know, you know, responsibility. I think you are a bandage in the Kirmayadi. Quite a low tower on their heads. Quite a man I hear. Quite a tower can you make a big by the coin. I took a watch. Quite a very young guy here. I can't tell you. The only way to make them feel themselves feel better, a big of life could be a big of which is okay, you know. But the way they are doing it, they wrong. Parasing a chiloy, a little of a whole of a good year. Old King Cody, even me, go a book of the Cabot, which in all because that's well at him. A poor Jacobin. I ain't in the bench by in Yakuja to I go to go. That's it, Chin with Benelio. Kubenil gone from a new person. This project. By example, Kia Guatinian, Black America can be done Obama. I can Madrid can be a part of America. Kulu can work hard, can be recognized. I tell you, real, I love cooperation. You know, Kulu can come and just can invite Pandu Saturday. Back at the chamber lunch, Kulu will your dreams, Kulu your agendas. Kulu think that he is good. Kaka niin ki 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 den ki ban den association den. You will have them morning breakfast, you know. But see me more young about a thing of lot from wherever I've been with you, been the peer will and call by whole alloy, or I'm called by Kanisal alloy, or I'm called by school alloy. Project your jing that color, your co-op project your alloy. Example, the man will put cake and bigger coin. Key again. You know, a lot of people will hate it, it can well. But a key will be a dwarf coin, and to coin, yeah, and to work again. Yeah, for sure. I believe yeah. that. <laughs> I, I believe that, yep. But but the thing, Luel, we're supposed to have Kidano win Bukudan, our own Red Cross. Our own Red Cross of the state. If this help you can deliver, whereby it will build unity and togetherness. Even you want Murile, you can't wait to carry. I'll be a coin because no one is a man, you can't wait to carry your coin at that time. You know? But walk a man and the joke one called the Joe well talks in. Ran to number and then to a year in a and beto. Nigging a chin word clear with in the alley. Ran when you join a lacoon, you don't have a problem. I will get your create more problem, Chicabuli Okun. Because I bought eighteen at you both for nothing, I bought for purpose. Nyalage is not happy with Koyka Hapanai. A good young Koroping come down in. A cheap your middle Koyka Hapanai. You 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 will not let you go. You will not let you go. Do you think do you think Nyali is not happy with Japanese the tsunami? Have you heard about tsunami? Be Japanese, they will wipe out. Do you think Nyali is happy? Okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Very Japan, interesting. Yeah. I'm uh, thinking about Japan, but Japan can't take it. I can't because it's not your country. Yeah, very interesting, man. Yeah. Yes. Japanese are attacked by Koi Moi. Chin Koi 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 Koi. But you know, 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 you very interesting, yeah. That's true. I do believe that. Yeah. That's true. And that's why that's true. I choose I choose by jam sexual in my music than by jam all this theater. Yes. Because sexual chiran you think a gum na chinyarko one and ten bale jam because can well ka can make chiran kuch. Yes. But we protest, you know? So chan by the truth. Yeah, 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 I like your talk, Bill Munasaba. Yeah, I like it. I like the way you talk, man. Yeah, go ahead. We need, we need to accept. I can be the law work to Chuku Loga Pit. So cool. You tell what in Colorado, you go get your work out of the young. You order like your career, you watch your peer more than anybody. Talk. You look, Kanisa, boy, yen yalit. Colorado Ram got in. Colorado, you cook your where to pro where to promote illegal, illegal prostitution. Do, 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 do you think it's, it's our fault? John will point you. Mm -hmm. I later walk a community, the culture down here, you will be there, you will politicize. Eh? 
can book your yok, go look collab. A man at the kitchen over a rumpton, over a rum, cut a quaiki, tiran and con cake it again. Getting my brother. And do you think it's all our fault? Are our you seeing fault. what I'm seeing? Yeah, the all our fault, kicking our fault, kicking. I before before Kaliping consider this when I tell you generation get your Nadam cake Kachi Bariton 90% of them they don't have a professional job in their life. They go through war tone. That is psychological problem to Ben by cake. Go ahead. I want you just to, to put that in the picture. Go ahead. Psychology, psychology. We're not normal. We're not normal. That's why. Eh. Psychology. Ella thing. Koi name ke ella bay. Are we normal? Eh. When chira loy kia chiri awa chiri awun ngic. Ngic. Me where da chiri aw? Aje aje chiri aw. Chira loy kia chiri aw. Nyan ye koar ben ache yine lom serious. Yes. Na chira loy kia chiri aw. Anything ye lo lo da chira ye lom serious. Yes. failures, included me. Because in a stable, we stick with one thing. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm a musician. 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 I'm a People are talking what you people judge. People don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. People are talking. And even in the on Facebook, the reason Chen showed away, all the more than 50 shows to on. Yes, that's true, yeah. <laughs> that's true, yeah. They're yeah. helping our communities here. They're not. They're not helping. You know, I'm going to call nine years old, Kalat. Very tough. Your platform, talk to them to on your basketball. Focus on their dream. They are dick with your wet in Imriag. Or now you're going to be a little cool and really dumping your hope, EJ Dammer, and all that. The hope now. I believe, okay, do you think like we're quite all yet and could look at the other domain? You're not going to buy because you are look at them now. No, last in Balonia Domic, my look, this is the process of 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 culture shock. We don't want to accept it. All right, kick up a lady and keep Chambale, Dima, Kaka be you to choke day, Madame Ager and Dian. Now, let me you to choke day and call of your doom believe. That's a part of the process. That's what it is. Look, bend the bite and. You know, we are rescuer when you survival. We're going through the system process, it? I don't quite be a victim of okay, civilization. You could think of civilization and you could think of Quran, you could think of Quran, you Half of us, I will not pay it in the families. 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 You know? This is a part of the process. Whether we fight it, whether we don't fight it, it will happen. But people don't see it. But if you're saying you're going to rescue people out of these problems, it's very hard. It's very hard to do that. So it's a part of it anyway. Hello? Mm. Yeah, uh, so, a, part of, a, a part of culture shock. So, Ben, you're a success. It's a success, Ben. And then, you a success. And then, you're a success. And then, you're a success. So that's how we'll go, and that's how we'll work, whether we like it or not. That's how it is happening. So you just do our best. You do your best when you are alive. Okay, thank you, guys. Okay, let me see. <laughs> yeah, it's a brave talk, really. <laughs> Hello, brother Mike.
Yes, yes, Hakuma. Sorry, you dropped off. Yep. Yeah, but mm. do, but but do, but do, but do to the topic. Topic. I want to come into when you're getting out here. Topic. Let me check. 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 But at least, at least, at least, don't you think Chinkitin Loike better than nothing? Kayinga. In community. Talk talk about yourself. You much alone in front community. Community you call you much alone. I'm surviving. Yeah, that's it. And then you yeah. need to do another one. You need to but but then you know and kita loy but lay in a colour. You bring mm. me on board one of the contributions. My duty here and I will make sure but missing that, but then but push me around and quit and change the thing. And what really I think you would watch it is not all about that. And you can't go around quick, but and the energy of reaching somewhere. I push. There's one thing each other is lay nation is a good artist. Yes, there's, I brought him up in in in, yeah, in, in my show one day. Yeah, there's, I think. Yeah, there's, there's Silva X, a good artist. There's Ali Juma, a good artist. There's a McDonald, there's Sunny Man, there's a young low, there's a Ibiur Kise. There is a, you, you can, um, how do you call this guy? There is Winnie Cholding to America, a good artist. And there is Winnie Cholding to WJ. There is so many artists. Okay, good, you know. But I can't get a cake. I can't get a cake. When you play whiskey, when they play whiskey, when you play whiskey, they hear you a lot of work, which is very wrong. To the way 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 Okay, DJs, then to play South Sudan, South Sudan music. I feel like okay, to go be a red, you go, you can achieve level in Banalera and a cake, DJ, you go look at it. Kachi didn't kill it when we play a chicken, a chiloy, quiet, I feel ashamed. Whereby, like, what then, 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 I can both to come and make their own money, you know. I tajirin. Kukini yo hane no niko tajirin is that I yego learn South Sudan music if we play it people get bored. Imagine, I South Sudan is quite jam here, but now learn Nigeria. We learn here for one hundred years. I can do anything South Sudan than a pinga we play. Okay, let me give you a very 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 good question. I can I can I can really I can really talk about that. Kere, what is your culture as a South Sudanese? Something you can sell to Kenyan, something you can sell to Tanzanian, something you can sell to Kawaja Nko? No, 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 no. Okay, so you know what I mean? Well, no, you know what I mean? Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I don't know why you are a vegetarian. Could you use a package for you? Braloy? The other dear and bad who packed the other dear and packed But my point is this just get to my point, I know. But my point is this. Now, you can tell me. Do you think Kawaja could I do your package where you do what you money where you Facebook in nothing in Yan Pierre, you did a car, nothing in Yanang? But I can't imagine Kawaja will you like this? What are you selling? Now you complaining, woe won the arcane, won the arnia, won the woke is couple, like in your Kedalu could sell. What is that? You go. You are trying Michael and you are Joseph. And you say, Brother, I'm not sure, but I couldn't do what? Like, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure. Not when? This year, I ain't up the security guard, like in a kid and a personal police, listen to my music. It, it was training on 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 uh, getting on uh, on on uh, Snapchat. Yes. Tia La Ping, it's in the president, president. And then uh, the uh, president, this is crazy. You know the word a code is for people to link up or for people to look at you? A code is But it's expectation. <laughs> you want to see what is this thing people are talking about. I tell you, I think it's something to investigate. Because the panic and bitching, 
kwa kini mto utanto kwa kwa na nchi degree yo ba ajani kwa kwa piasle ato uriam denet a chile culture da chuma ni mnyo yiku madha duwai badame na niwe ni ya duwai bu madha ba ajani e ya kia kar chuma ni noti ngono photos e kia kar and this culture is not can be a kar you know wedding kwa they not done a chile loi a jeng style arab style we are ashamed to prove, to show who we are, our identity, we are ashamed of it. It's, it's not about shame. What we're selling, you know, to influence other people, you know, we are indigenous, we are in a process of growing up. So, look, my grand great father at Panajin. Mini Kelping, Kelly Alipping, South Sudan, nothing changed. Jesus Nabi, who made the NHI South Sudan and Co. Kule, there are you human then or when in. All right? If you see my generation, or your generation, say we have 500 years generation, 500 years people. And one to me, I look at a good year cooler. You come, you can get him tea, tea, and you a good year cooler. You know? Yin. Everything for the last 500 years. Young Chinko, I want to teach you a book, you know, by a cat, it's an eternal Western world. Kuril, who want to sell something? Do you see? They will, they will we are indigenous. We're in a process. We're learning. Some of us, they're going to be victim of the process or transformation. Some of us will survive until we put ourselves together. Could you think you will be a real world? No, because I can't tell you your own opinion. But the reality, we are here. 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 We what would you call a coach wing? A bit documentary can I be real? A bit will get to lawyer Piet, can I call away America? Ebbing Kuna, did you call where you could documentary to you? Bokora, I'm a Jolu acting, a bit your fake and faking culture is poison to the society, is misleading of information. That's deep, mm. and that's what happened in religions. We used to be one, but there is somewhere China translation Chela wrong for us to say they're Muslim and Christian, you know? They confuse us. And and in that point, you don't, 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 don't blame us though. We're in the same system of the society if they confuse us. Okay, you can well the culture. Can bury the culture, human gem wogo. Ebala Mundari, Kubala Aliap. Before time, can you what do you mean? You can't get a check before us. What do you mean? No. Real culture, yeah. you know, like they really even check when you're a little bit there because you can kick on a little legacy, like a very young name, like a majority. This thing, you know, now we're a little bit of a thing that I'm both. This thing is all right, man. This, this, People, thing yeah. all, this thing is being a child, dark girl. I can't, I'm a kind of a kind of a kind of a daddy, man. There's no evidence. Hey, and can it go? Thing it go? There is no evidence. There no, is it? It's an evidence. Dergal are both from the Dergal tribe in Mundari. You know the tribe which all Dergal in Mundari. Hey, Erinai. Okay, yeah, hey, Erinai. That's the real thing. I can't go. Now, here I'm getting the dear Golan. You know, I can't go. I Dergal. Dergal are originated from the Dergal people. That's the story, man. But what you in board? What you in fell? But 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 no no no. The the, the story even is. There is no evidence. There is no evidence. Okay, it's no evidence. This is my own story. Mm. Okay. Kidan, you go to the Lord. Kidan, Kidan, you go to the Lord. You go to the Lord. Are you Chong? Yeah, you go to the Lord. Chong, I don't know. Chong, I go from Ngok. Original from Jing Agir. Who go to the Lord? Yeah, it's the B.O. thing. Exactly. So it's, it's just the same thing. You're not putting anything so, new. When, yeah. I, when, when I talk to you about when you when you're not really chong music, uh, that's original house. You know, they done. But yeah, they did. Then, 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 then,
Where the child der girl der if Nadia Mumma in Kawaja Kaya told the girl at all. This is the tone of der girl. Even up a lay chatting loyal in one hundred years than tribe area and the South Sudan could look like a lie. A chicken dergale. Are you there from, with me? Eh? I don't want <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, I'm here. Yep, don't worry. Okay, let me bring us together. Oh, what did you do? Yeah. It's it, 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 it's very great point. Like in Kaba, like in Ki. For the senses of Dergali, you will have long Kutai. Ah. Hello? Paladisco, <laughs> huh? You're right, though, yeah, you're right. Because I will kick again in Confel. Mike D. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's good argument anyway. I like I, li I like to argue with you anyway. It's good conversation, but Kito Winky, Dergal Yelwele, Dergal Yelwele, Ebi Mundari, Yoyo Wajwi, Kukoi Gwig Diamond, Yanga Yekutai, Yanga Ye, I am influence. I can go influence Kukoi Gwig. Yanga Gwig Wajing Amal Yen Differentiada. Eh? Yanga Gwig Wajing. Wojing, who are Mundari tribe? Okay, Wojing up an aisle or Wojing up an aisle, a busy yet to go over Mundari. Okay, come on, lean about Jing up an aisle again. Hey, but, 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 but I want you to answer this before Kenya and Kerry Jing up an aisle. It's a very okay. great information. I want you to answer me, Mundari, and I think I'm an idea. Well, even one, how can they influence us? Physically, if you see them physically, they were, were the same people. The closest people to us, nothing came in, nothing gang, who could cake, a chatting, a chat different, a chin different. I bet you think Nachi work, Gamalo, and I can have this work. Nachi, Nachi, I get this work, a work again, Kegelo, Dana. You know, it has to be something there. You know, that's why I said there's no evidence, you know, because you, you cannot find, you know, in history. Kitty, you don't way. Kulula, you call you a joke. You are a joke. Okay, Kalaba Lane, Kikan, you know, and she be jam according to Pierre, because Nala jam according to Pierre, then call him your page. That's a letter. I'm a jam according to to the story, the theory. According to the theory, to me, anything, cook each all the story, cook each all in each quadrant. I tell a quarter, then I did look at even Quarqua, Akin Hitchin. Quarquark and the cage all map, I can eat pinto. Quarquark and the loo, quarking pee. The carbon will can eat the real people. Yeah, 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 Joke. So tell me, a map joke me, Kukulum joke me, chocolate low. Go ahead. Quite, quite a tower is South Sudan, okay, quite a community and highly migrate. Some of them are to Uganda, some are to Kenya. Mm. Especially Chiman, Jordan, Chole, Ekadem. Kake, I my own thoughts to look quite die anyway. If you disagree with it, it's all right. But quite a chole, Jaluo, quite a chole, Kalanjin, 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 I better. Which is like Najamo can give you in ya, you know the same thing. Kujing in Jolato management, each man, each your children, all those I do. I call it a bo. Quite out of push. Woe, 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 Mundari, a very small tribe, cook I better organized. I keep talking about the lady who lives in the I better organized. And if you did your thing, color of South Sudan, I check it out here. Because cake, they know how to cooperate, 
Kukega is smart. They know how to protect community then. Kwa yego wa timi wit. Chika wit. Wele kini ka wit. Katia wit rio. Kwa chen tong yuka loi. A ken yin pel man. Kanti ed to you kena yin. You think like a ken yin pel. Pel yin 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 <laughs> when, when we act like the world is smartest, go what? Two million people are no. What you mean, pal? Na 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 na. Just plan. Can you go to Marwai? You will not dream to go. Bala you go to Bala Bala go to Bala to Ajilwa. Can you walk out? When Bala to Ajilwa, you will never do that. But can you can you go? Na niki to Ajilwa. Bala to Ajilwa. Karabai. They will never go back there. Everything will spoil. So the more you know. You know, the things get wider and you think Kakwari. That's how we think. Okay, but like in a man of my mundari, a yin came the million to young Raji more than my mundari. I don't think so. That's that's my own opinion because the situation told in Tinaman, you think like you are living but in a prisoner. How come I'm not a prisoner? I'm not a prisoner. 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 I'm He mm. sleep any time he want. He mm. do anything any time he want, you know? Mm. So but I can't tell anything. Mm. But can't tell anything. But mm. in, yeah, in, in move by laws. In Chiraka, the Chiru room. Now, a lot charge, there's a speed limit here in. Now, a lot of lawyers then time to clock in and time to clock out. You know? You yes. Do with, you do with casual time. Yes. You're in a collusion with. Yes. You're in a prisoner. You're working for somebody. You're not working for yourself. Now you do your key for yourself. They ain't here independent there. That's why you need tax. That's why you need to keep project. Every money you can make, you can learn to work on weekend. Bagala I do change the law and the law game game. Create your system. But my mandari, what can I do every year? Come and get, get, get. I can tax. Kwachin mu korbu ping. Kede yabani, ebi di yara lawa, achi achi ngale, akini tau in insecure situation. You know, so insecure. That why in cha ngale, you don't do it, chuma ni suit and all these things, chungu kek. You insecure, you are in Rio de Road. Daga yu ke man kulele lo nyiko, baben da hait me. Mwai mundare ku behi manet me. Kaboke naket, yimba dal, bat ki ye dal a ki iting. E iting cha chum yol dada. You know? So, so do you, If you balance mm. this situation, back at who you are and who Mandari is, Mandari is the real. But you know, I think, I think, I think you are real. Do you prefer, as my D, you know, do you prefer, you know, buy a Mandari key kwa 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 the waku, or do you prefer to cry in a Ferrari and a mansion? What do you prefer in this situation, as you, my D? For me. Yeah, yeah, do you prefer do you prefer to cry in like a Ferrari and a big mansion or do you prefer to sleep with Gutia ku kwadwa ku chuma mundari? I prefer a life of my mundari man. Being okay. Honest with you. Why? Because life then team a freedom, I can suffer. But life can it? I don't need a lot even that balato in that Ferrari and that mansion yellow in them so many haters who your family dadu is falling apart because of the wealth chain and whoever you in that Ferrari or a kidding is controlling the system. I didn't limit my friend. In Chile, what was the quite the number of court? Opinion of why not? Why not? Hey, we are teaching men, guys, well, I mean, go in it. Who took a span, go to in, cut a span more than 10 times, cut a in man. You are spending a dinner then. Than your saving. Why? Because you have to expand to live. It's the fact you can't deny that. Mm. There's anything like, better than this? You're working for the system. In But in I'm still, I'm still benefiting from the system. Tingpa ni mundari mane, kutingpa ni. But let ma ma hang on. Tingpa ni mundari mane, kutingpa anda ni. Nada ngan tu no boku. Great Pani Mundari, you man. Kubuku, Chumbeka, you could yield take it. Dekala easily. 
nothing will survive lakini na baba ari wote ni mane na bonto no fuboku mul pandiji this internet of will never survive in this space ekene akori mbaya luya kulku wako that's why you know you think luya you can penan bare you can be proud of the pan because the pan ke kwar kwar do le loye ken lo kwar ni nya proud of it bye tene penan I'm a part of it. I, I pay tax, sir. Hey, you can you can well be in the university or life, but the two kids, the two kids, who are going to be the way after them? Who are going to be the way after them? You know, back in the old days, what you were able to return to be a ticket surprise. Hey, you did you be the way after them? Hey, you did. Because I call call people who get generation then a child. Yeah, yeah, I call call people who yeah. ஒருத்தோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோட்டோ
Adeng 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 please issue an essay. Yeah. You have you have to write an essay. So you know Buga Yelagui. Could you you have to go against this book? Could you got your god about two thousand word? Alright? And then this essay you have seven days or fourteen days to do it, could you resubmit? One day I've done an essay and I brought that book, could you ben I think I did better. Jalul, I did the best of my ability, Kujala. Jala, kujala lecture, you lecture, you and Kudoku Leon Gamke, you half. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you, yeah. I keep your lecture, Gwen Gam half mark. Jaben, can you pure go ahead? Can you go ahead? Cool. Well, I did my best. Why did you give me half marks and then I have two weeks? Good. Well, are you all right? Good. I'm all right. Good. Thank you. Okay. Let 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 do mathematics here. Boom. Tell you you going against it? At least Rani got ten. At least this book took him five years. And there is a can you pay review? People review it, they approve it yeah. until be your bay, could you come in below study? And then you your become assignment for only two paper or two thousand word, you wanna go against this book. Really? You defeat it or you did what you do? Of course you can't do that. Can you hear me? No, I tend to be the horse guy, so I don't know, but I can know. If you go, my dick and a little man. Oh, if you do, you look, I am ring the bed up. You have flower, mama. Make a little bit of you. Look for love. If you do, you look, I am ring the bed up. Nya flawa mama, met kalir kau kacip yo kau kawan. Look flawa, no a kiti an lir pio kebe an kwe, kiti bir kwe. Ah, flawa flawa kiti amoy. Ba kwe ni hat kedu, anjero kwe ni flawa dia. Kepi ada dai, pingi nandu melia kiti amoy. ตาเจ๊กินมวยงานดูอีเปียดุญานดูกายันริมเบระญาฟลาวามามาเมดกาลิร์เท้ากาจิเปียวกูกาวาลุกฟลาวาเกอีเปียดุญานดูกายันริม
panca bandung dah kaje gajal. Kaya nyar via pamenin resident. President, president, I call it you all a available non president. Ye do nyandu kaya ring ne bera, nyafula wa mama. Let kalir piong kaji piong piong kawa, tufula wa. If ye do nyandu kaya ring ne bera, nyafula wa mama. Let kalir piong kaji piong piong kawa, tufula wa. Barang yang nyala kudi jinna jeting ranyom. Barang yang bimboi dai mungkin tiap bengi dai. Barang yang nyala kudi in kenu dien bimbi. Galada bimboi dai mungkin tiap berdoji. If ya do nyandu kaya ring ne bera nyafla wa mama let kalir kau kaji piyo piyo kawa tufla wa ga. If ya do nyandu kaya ring ne bera nyafla wa mama let kalir kau kaji piyo piyo kawa tufla wa ga. Yeah, 
sexy. Yeah, yeah. I want to marry you. Yeah, I wanna take you home and make you my baby. Don't even say no because I wanna make you my lady. Yeah, like you had to be found. My love for you flow like a water on the river Nile. Girl, you are so nice and kind. My love for you is not for money, baby. Your love is so crazy. Black and beautiful, tall and humble. 